Hello and welcome to Garblad Games. We're playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition and this is Legend Steel! Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to Scarblad Games. We're playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition, and this is Flint and Steel! <laughs> so, in a shock turn, I'm Roger, and I'll be your games master tonight. And with me, I have... Oh, he's drinking. He's Give drinking. him a minute. He's drinking. Him a minute. Poor timing. He's drinking. Sorry. Hello, I'm Ben, and I shall be playing the legendary... Mr. Gunter Seuss, Mr. Seuss, the halfling herald, hashtag brought back the halfling, halfling herald and lawyer. Hi, I'm Kevin and I'm playing Siegbert Alton von Schultz yet again, um, who started life as a nobleman, but is now a warrior priest of Sigmar. Hey everyone, I'm Dan and I'm playing Ulrich von Graf, uh, a bounty hunter, a very young bounty hunter, um, and I'm here to have fun. Hello, I am Pete, and I am playing Simon Alvinson, <laughs> uh, who is a village idiot with the trade farming skill, uh, knuckle dusters, and likes to set things on fire. Isn't he supernumerate? Oh, he's also supernumerate, yes. Hello, I'm Jim, and I'm playing Trout Krauser, Scourge of the Riverways, and uh, genuinely uh, nice fisherman. <laughs> excellent. Nice. excellent right so yes a bit of a bit of a switch around we thought we'd do something a little bit different for our final uh christmas one shot of the year we do tomorrow have our quiz don't forget about that and we'll talk a bit more about that later before we begin please don't forget to go and check out all our social media below uh, in the about if you're watching on twitch and in the video description if you're watching back on youtube if you are watching on YouTube, come and follow us on Twitch. And if you're watching on Twitch, then please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. And Roger is kindly putting links in the chat right now for our live viewers. Also, don't forget to come join us on our Discord. We have over th around 300 people on there talking about role-playing in all different ways. We've got lots of other channels about books and videos and games and people having chat games on there as well. It's really cool community and it's always growing, which is fantastic. Uh, also check out our Patreon, everyone who supports us helps to make it a little bit better for everybody else from all the kit and equipment we have to all the games that we play. It's down to our awesome patrons that we keep going. The more people who support us, the more we can do for you guys. And I know our patrons in particular have been looking forward to us bringing back the Halfling and the rest of the crew. And we're doing a slightly different story because our uh, main cast were in the middle of a story and season four will return next year of uh, Flint and Steel proper. Uh, but today we're doing Fish and Reel. Isn't that right, Jim? I thought that was the, what we were going to call it. Uh, yeah, fish and Reel. Fish yeah. and Reel! <laughs> um, where Jim's going to hold his rod for two hours. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no change there then. So, That's for... the whole show. <laughs> That's That's rod. Rod. <laughs> right, everyone That's else can take your bite. cameras off. Here we go. <laughs> um, <no. laughs> so we're doing rated. <laughs> yes, we're doing rerolls tonight. Um, am I right, Roger? It's just for us three plebs down here. You can give rerolls to both Sigbert and Gunter. However, Sigbert and Gunter are the big shiny heroes of Flint and Steel. Therefore, these guys have, you know, they're destined for great things. They've got fate points and resilience points, as well as fortune and resolve. Unlike the rest of them, <laughs> the rest of them are the dregs of society that Gunter and Sigbert have managed to rustle up. They don't have fate. They don't have fortune or resilience or resolve. No, 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 no. This is an elite team of specialists that I have carefully put together. <laughs> That's what Gunter tells them. So if you want to give re-rolls, um, the good target for them is Dan, Pete and Jim, all of whom are effectively plebs and don't have any such things. So they entirely rely on your charity. Of course, you can also give re-rolls to me. I can use my re-rolls to either re-roll something myself if I decide it's funny or make one of the other players do it. Or if I'm feeling nice, 
help the other players, depending on how I'm feeling at the time and whether it would be amusing or not. And who it is. Roger did do something nice once in 1991. He still hasn't lived it down. (laughs) It's true. It is on my permanent record and it is my ever-living shame. (laughs) So, Uh, yeah, feel free to give re-rolls. It's 1,000 Garblag Groats to give one of the players a re-roll or 2,000 Garblag Groats to give me a re-roll. Yes, McNeil's five. Blood for the Rog God. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Before we go any further, I would also like to say that we are currently sitting at 398 followers. And if we do reach 400 followers, then someone in chat will win a $20 drive-thru RPG gift certificate, which could be put towards such wonderful Warhammer Fantasy roleplay products as Middenheim, or the archives of the Empire, which have recently come out on PDF on Drive Through RPG, or even in fact the Power Behind the Throne, that's just been released as well. So lots of cool stuff for Warhammer E type fans. Also, the go. Warhammer compatible Black Road setting. That's 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 a lot less than twenty dollars, uh, but yes, that yes, that is out there. All good on Drive Through RPG. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't, or follow. Because if we do hit that, that will be given away tonight. Yes, absolutely. Um, great. I think I'm experiencing a little bit of lag on my camera, unfortunately. But... In Bowen and, moment, uh, no. Kev, you've actually already been given a re-roll. Despite awesome. the fact you've already got fate points, but you've got awesome. a re-roll as well. Everyone please, loves a hammer. They said, pleased to see you again on the channel. Yeah, yeah. it is great to see Kev again. It um, is. love. So if you do... That brought me mug. Uh, once hey. this goes up on YouTube, if you do decide you want to see more, do tell us in the comments. Make sure you leave likes, because that's kind of how we'll gauge whether there's interest for us to do this again. And, and if you would like a flint and steel off. mug, you can purchase them from the good oh, yeah. folks at Redbubble. Oh, yeah, there's Redbubble. It's well, yeah, this is my lovely flint and steel somewhere. mug. You can even get a, a fleecy jumper with that, with that cool silhouette. Made by the lovely Sam. artwork for that one was done by Sam, who plays Morgan in the main cast of Flint and Steel. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, well, that's enough shenanigans and announcements. and bef- or, or should I talk talk about the quiz tomorrow, or should we save that to uh, later? Save, save that, that to later. Let's get on with it. Let's get on with it, shall we? I can spell. <laughs> I'm spamming. <laughs> <laughs> I've been banned. Oh, Dan, you've just been given a re-roll as well. Yeah, That's right. Um, the Nightbots just banned <laughs> Free League for spamming the channel. We should give the heads up. The Nightbot Sorry, is man. vicious. Nightbot is hit vicious. And I and I only ever remember I need to change it while we're streaming. And it's the only time I can't change it because my computer will just crash. <laughs> I just spent most of your intro trying to get Twitch to work because it wasn't working on my wife's computer that I'm on. And now I got banned from chat. So... <laughs> It's a great stream already. As is tradition. Yeah. Good man, Nightbot. Hey, Free League. Right. Shall we begin? Yes. Yeah. Right. So the sun has only recently risen in the town of Schultz. No, no. Gunther and Sigbert have been in Schultz for about a week or so after traveling there following the siege of the castle with the death of the last San, of a San Savino, which resulted in Alvin rug spear tackling him off the battlements and falling three stories to their doom. The morning, like most in the Empire, is raining. It is grey outside and it is horrible. Sigbert has been quietly investigating, along with Gunther, what's been happening in Schultz, because to his knowledge, his parents are in cahoots with the Sansovinos. They don't know why, and his parents won't talk to him or let him in their family estate. This is very unusual. When he left, they were on very good terms, and he can't even get a hold of his siblings. So they've been trying to make some quieter investigations as to what's happening, but they can't seem to work out why. Mm. San Savino. <laughs> so I'm filling in for Simon, if you hadn't guessed. <laughs> and are both in the tavern, the Spotted Pig. This is where they have been staying and using it effectively as their base of operations while they've been investigating throughout the town. In that morning, a dwarf 
enters the tavern, looks around the room, and his eyes fix on Sigbert. Oh, friend dwarf. You recognise the dwarf. He's the smith from the Falkenberg Forge in Nuln. Ah, he forged my plate. He did. He walks in carrying a very large box. It's made of wood and sealed with a stamp of the Falkenberg Forge branded onto it. Manling, I've been sent a long way to find you. Well met. What's the what's the purpose of your visit? I was paid a lot of money to forge something for you. This is a present from a good friend of mine, Bagric Rolfson. Boo. And big, big, big smile on Sigrid's face. <laughs> Very serious out... self-insert. <laughs> yeah. uh, he are, out... are, by the way, are the mercenary crew all kind of hanging around at the moment? They're just kind of in an, in the tavern at the moment, Figures. but they're not with you. Okay. So he offers you the box, which he is holding with one arm. <laughs> when I take it, do I go? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. When you take when you take it, you suddenly uh, realise that it is much heavier than this Smith lets on. Let's see what my friend has sent. Um, can I get my hands on a crowbar, or is it like a hinging open? There's a hinge. He hasn't nailed it shut. <laughs> no, it's not been nailed shut. There is a I'll, hinge on it. I'll, I'll open it up and have a look. I'm excited. I'm all excited. Like, I'm excited. In, I'm inside sure the crate is, well. is a warhammer. It is the finest warhammer you have ever seen. It is intricately crafted with sigils and symbols of Sigma. Down the sides, <clears throat> it is... In, and the tail end of it, where the spike is, is actually the twin-tailed comet of Sigmar. Oh, so Go, Maraz! <laughs> I'm trying to remember. <laughs> there are dwarven runes ra- lining the hammer, and they are inlaid with gold. When your hands touch it, you feel a warmth course through your body. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Um, hold the hammer up and I'm going to I can't remember the name of the blessing there's a blessing that like makes your weapon magical what's it called one of the blessings I'm going to quietly invoke that to myself and the hammer will glow faintly I'll go, go ahead a fine weapon I can do my roll for it see yeah. if anything actually happens it might not glow at all where is my prey on this sheet actually uh, it should be in the skills <laughs> Apologies, this is the first time we've ever used Roll20 for Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay, so if we're a little bit stuck now, do bear with us. It might be, is it, would it be in the magic section, maybe? No, Prey is one of the skills. It should be in the skills. Yeah. Yeah, it's under play and perform and above ranged. The way it's sort of broken down with sub skills and things is a little bit. Scroll down your skill list because you're probably just looking in um, the art section. Our entertain Malie. While he's doing I'll that, put next to melee, hmm? one line down. Same about the between navigation and outdoor survival. One line across. Pray. Yeah, I'm not seeing that. For some reason. Hang on. Give me a sec. You do it. Just you're roll doing. a d100. Um, yeah, right. While he does that, our viewers may remember that in season two, Bagric ordered this hammer to be made for Sigma at the cost of 500 that. gold pieces, mm. being crafted to the best ability of a dwarven smith and blessed the entire way throughout its creation by a priest of Sigma. I'm going to use my chat reroll on that <laughs> <laughs> because it'd be really anticlimactic it is, to roll a 97. It is on, on your that. character sheet. Be... It's just really far down in the middle column, just above big it's range. Right under play. And above range. In, in advanced skills, is it? Yeah. In the middle column, yeah. yeah. Play ranged. Just above range. Oh, yeah. And it's the little tiny one. Yeah. Okay. So I, am I doing um, oh, challenging? It's a play roll. Oh, yeah, just yeah, challenging it. is normal play roll, actually. Normal play roll, rather. 74. It's still a failure, but it's a closer failure. So you answer so, the words, and it doesn't really change the feeling, but you do still feel the warmth coming from the hammer. 
I do like the graphic yeah. in Roll20 though, I, for gonna... the rolls, the roll output. It's, it's quite cool. The whole time that you're looking at it, you kind of look up after taking your eyes off it for the first time and notice the Smith is just staring at you. Clearly trying to gauge your reaction. Uh, I'm going to turn to him and go, this is a magnificent weapon. I took me a long time to forge. And it's a it's a bit of an odd request. Never had one ask for a priest to bless it throughout before, but gold is gold. <laughs> Does that mean it's magic? Did somebody say gold? Magic weapon? Out of character? I've got to like, stick my head up from my beer. <laughs> My breakfast beer. Did somebody say gold? Go back to your drink, Manling. I thank you, friend dwarf. This is truly magnificent. Right. Well, best be on. I don't normally deliver things, but given the nature of what I've just made, I wouldn't trust it to a courier. I'm going to, like, bow to him. And, uh, and with that, he simply turns and walks out the door. As you go to put the hammer back in the box, you notice there is a letter within the box. Interesting. Can I read the letter? Is that a thing? Mm. You can. Where is it? 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 You don't need to make a roll. Talent, read, write. It's, it's just it's a, written it's a in, yes or it's no. written in Reichspiel. You understand Reichspiel. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I more meant, I more meant, have you like put that in the inventory somewhere that I have to actually read? <laughs> You're going to read it out. So, Excellent. Letter is written in a very kind of angular t uh, uh, lettering. It's a bit strange, but it is Reichspiel. Reichspiel that looks semi-dwarven runic. <laughs> Almost. Like it does it. kind of have that kind of edge to it. So, within the letter, Mandling, we found some it out. Your, your parents... Are being, are being held ransom by those bastard Sansovinos, those dirty chaos manling bastards. We found out that there's an old manor house about 10 miles north of Schultz where they're holding your brother captive. They think they've won. They think they control Schultz. But we'll show those bastards. We've killed two of the buggers. You can kill another one for us. I I some locals. Take yourself. Take Gunter. Kill the bloody lot of them. Magrick. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Is Gunter here? Or I'll, I'll, if not, I'll go Gunter's find him. Gunter's with you. Gunter yeah. is yeah, yeah. at the no, table right with here. you. Getting impressed, looking at your shiny tools. That hammer's about the size I am. Bloody hell. Mr. Seuss, I'm gonna hand him the letter. This might be of interest to you. Didn't even know Bagrick could write. Wow. Right, well. I don't have any reason to doubt what he says is true, so. I didn't so this know. He knows this, how to lie. This does come as welcome news. You have been struggling to work out why Sigbert's parents are seeming to go along with the Sansovinos. The penny yeah, it did drops. It seemed a bit weird, didn't it? I mean, as come to on. Why, Sansevinos. So you you have been in the town a while and you do know that there are some people that either have looked like they might be handy with a sword or claim to have said they're quite handy with a sword. Repeatedly while Repeatedly, drinking. Repeatedly while posing, generally without their top on. <laughs> Don't want to know which one of them that could be. I have a cloak. <laughs> I may not be wearing a top, but I'm wearing a cloak. <laughs> Makes oh, flashing I keep easier. forgetting to ask, which finger is it that I lost? One of your little fingers. One of the little fingers. This little you. finger on my right. Um, <laughs> Gunter, can you help me out with getting some hirelings together? Because, I mean, it's going to involve money and bartering, and really that's more your area than mine. Yeah, no worries, mate. Um, especially if it gives us a chance to shank a San Savino. I've got a finger to get back. You Might know. even get some spares. <laughs> well, Sigmar will be on our side. But as far as finding some hirelings, I think that's more your area. What's uh, Sigmar's opinion on uh, chopping fingers off then? If the cause is righteous. Splendid. We're Wait, stopping, 
stopping the spread of chaos, I feel like, would be most definitely in his best yeah, interest. Yeah, well, well, definitely, yeah, that too. So, Gunter, you happen to know a few individuals that you think would be more than happy to accept your coin. Coin hasn't really been a problem for you since uh, before you departed. You were given a quite sizable chunk of coin from from the party that they that they liberated from a Sansovino shop in Nome. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, any likely lads in here? This is always a good place to start. Spotty pig, spotty pig. Who's good in a scrap? Someone say scrap. You're mercenary. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a bit, I've got my, I haven't got, I'm not topless, but my leather jerkin is very, is very unlaced. And my mus, my <laughs> faintly muscular chest with a few hairs is on show. Um, I've got knuckle dusters uh, on, on the, so on my belt, you know, on a little string or something. You're going to say um, on my hands at all times. Yeah. <laughs> Drinking. Because you're walking around. Just, Truth he said on a string and adjusted. I immediately thought it's through his anorak, isn't it? He's got his knuckle dusters through his anorak <laughs> on a bit of string. Through my leather jerkin. Yeah. You don't lose them when you get drunk. I've got a cloak on and I'm kind of standing and drinking with one foot on one chair beside the others uh, while we're talking. This is why I've been sort of putting my head up, trying to look heroic while drinking beer in the morning. It's working massively. Can you fight? Well, yeah. But and my, the the boys here are pretty good as well. I I know a thing or two about fighting. I'm sure you do, Sunshine. What about your big mate, the one that Can doesn't you... talk? I do talk. Albrick von Graf, at your service. And I know my way around a blade and a crossbow. And he pulls out this crossbow from inside his jacket. Fancy, nice. Does, does it have like folding out arms, or was it just like? Oh yeah, no, no, it's just a really big jacket. jacket. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a really big trench coat. Fucking huge. <laughs> but you know, I, Albrick looks a little bit better than the other guys. Just saying. Cause, I'll can I make a special it. special request to have Jim describe what his character looks like? Because I really <laughs> want to know. I've heard <laughs> yeah, if, little uh, tidbits. The three but... of you could all describe your characters, uh, starting with Jim. I mean, Pete, Pete did, but okay, I'm quite a short. Uh, ginger head chap um, <laughs> with a bit of a sideburn sort of cum moustache sort of oh, chopper yeah. sort of uh, um, hairdo on my face um, uh, in in my beard it's very red but there seems to be a lot of fish scales in there and <laughs> it, it he, he looks he looks almost wet but it could be grease um, and the smell, uh, it, it smells like a, a dockyard, basically, uh, his old persona. Um, but he is carrying around a sack that is wet at the bottom and it's got something heavy in it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we're not going to sneak anywhere then? What's that? I'm, I'm, I'm a good swimmer. Good to know. Um, yeah. Is this manor house on a river? Well, it might be a moat. Could be. Give a man yeah, a moat is. and I'll get him some fish. He's right. also carrying quite a vicious looking club. Yeah. <laughs> now, vicious. is this a package deal or, or do we negotiate separately? Well, well, you know, it, 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 the man over there with that, with that crossbow thing, yeah, he thinks that's impressive. But how about this? Now, put me arm oh, elbow deep into my sack yeah and i'll pull out this big smelly rotting trout yeah and i'll slam it on the table uh, yeah you don't catch one of them without being good at things you know what i mean oh, oh. if we're, if we're showing off weapons i pull a trowel out of my out of from my belt at the back of my trousers and stick it into the table I and don't my trowel. What's going on here? He's got a crossbow. He's got a trout. And you've got a trowel. As you can see, I'm the only one properly equipped this, for this. Kind I've of got. I've got knuckle dust. I've also got a big club on my belt as well, and right. a bow over my so um, over the, my back. The I've got the bishop. To black. Gunter <laughs> <laughs> so, negotiates. So. <laughs> negotiates with the three of them a suitable fee 
which might be slightly weighted in favour of certain individuals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For them to help with the endeavor. I mean, I mean, there are some people who can provide food and fighting. Um, Absolutely. How much, de- how much detail did you want to go into them about what they're doing? Gunter? Well, we need to assess a certain level of moral flexibility because what we're doing is technically only quasi-legal. Is it though, given what they are? Well, what is, it what is, is only sorry, quasi-legal. Sorry, I mean, yes, what we're doing cost. is entirely sorry, mis- legal. Sorry, Mr. Halfling. What does quasi mean? It's like having a hunchback. Oh, my uncle, you know, he's he got a hunchback from uh, pulling the plow, you know, when the horse when the horse got sick. I can well believe it. I yeah. can well believe it. Now, basically, what we've got here is a standard sort of um, social disagreement. My, my good and noble friend here, the blessed Siegbert, he's a priest as well, you see. So you're doing a God's work. Which is pretty obvious from looking at it. Oh, I'm, I'm scared shitless of I'm scared shitless of Siegbert straight away. The, the plate I'm not, armored I'm not self in branding armor. maniac I'm in like, with a oh, hammer. You can probably see the brand. I mean, you're like balls oh, with a thing. The comet still on my chest. You are, I, however, you do have a very stonking looking warhammer. Yeah, I got two now. One yes, amazing a pair of one. One still a pretty good one. <laughs> Look, Halfling, I don't care. You're paying me gold, so I'll do what you want me to do. All right. Sounds good to me. So there's these blokes, right? And we don't like them. So we're going to go up to their house and we're going to fuck them up. Short version. Sounds good. But you probably shouldn't tell us these details, you see, because if we get caught, you don't want these two talking. They look like talkers. Uh, Not a word would pass my lips. No, I'm sure they wouldn't. See anything you'd like in the house, you can nick it on the way out. I'm in. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Have they got any fish ponds? Distinct possibility. Captive fish, no less. Yeah. Probably some of those bashful carp that you get. Carp. Bashful. Yeah. Oh, I'll bash know. him with a bishop. Well, you, you can bash the bishop all you want, mate. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'll bash with the bishop. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's funny. I think that's there. what he calls his club. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So are we going to sit around here and dilly all day, or are we going to go do this? No, well, let's, um, we've got to do the information gathering bit of the process first. So you lads sit here and drink up. Um, how much is beer? I forget how much things cost here. Where's Need? this manor house? Can I use trade farming to know if it's on the edge of the farmlands and therefore <laughs> if it would have any interaction with the with the farmers and therefore if we've had any, you know, kind of uh, bad blood? <laughs> Sure, why not? Make a trade farmer roll. Okay. Minus 20. <laughs> it's not going to be worth It's not going to be that good anyway. Uh, let me have a look. Sorry. Oh, my God. Sorry, my computer is very slow tonight. Here we go. Where are we? Oh, oh look at this mighty score. 32. Uh, here we go. Average or zero? Just just challenging, so zero. Challenging. Okie doke. Seeing as it's trade farm. <laughs> no bonus. There's a lot of balance to push on there. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <Yes. laughs> Best damn farmer in this whole town. <laughs> right. So, and the tallest. Uh, uh, I'm five foot ha- three. I'm not the tallest. <laughs> you happen to know exactly where this place is. When they started talking about it, you went, hang on, that's just on the edge of old Schweinsteiger's farm. I know that place. It's an, it's an, old, it's an older place. It's, it's seen better days, but it is a stone building. Yeah. Yes, yeah, an old stone house on the edge of the, the fourth farthing of the... Uh, uh, Schlabbertop Farm. Uh, it's the the yeah yeah. It's there's a manor house out there. They're they're um. You know that's actually useful. They're a bit oh, hard then. up. They're a bit hard up, but it's like stone stone building. You'd be just... surprised how not hard up this lot probably are. Have they got a moat? Is there a, is no. there a moat? No, no moat. I think they're a fish though. Right. 
Well, I think they've got we'll a very tidy pond. Like a koi pond, but carp. Bashful. Yeah. They can't be that koi. <laughs> <laughs> Stop carping on and let's get on with it. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, sorry. Sorry. To do hey, an shit fish pun. <laughs> You've, you have ever been in there? The manor house? No, 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 no. They don't, they don't, they're, they're disrespectful of us decent salt of the earth types. You know, me and my family not allowed around that generally a lot of the area. Um, last last but, you had heard, it was actually empty. Last I heard, it was empty, you know, recently. Ulbricht starts twizzling his beautifully manicured moustache. Just a little tiny one. He's trying to grow it impressively. You can tell it doesn't look that good, but he thinks it looks amazing. <laughs> he thinks very highly of himself. Fancies himself a little bit. <laughs> right. Sounds like we've got a job to do. All right, let's crack on then. Right, so what do you reckon? Where, where are we going? Are we going to take the river? <laughs> do their bodies. Uh, there are several ways you can get there. The quickest way is actually a cut straight through the forest. The second way is there is a road. It's a bit indirect, but it'll get you there eventually. Goes by some lovely fields, that road. And you can also get halfway there by river and then the rest of the way through the forest. Oh. River and forest sounds the best way to me. I think you're probably yeah. right, to be honest. Kraus, didn't you say you had a nice sailing boat? Uh, yeah. Mary. Sold. Yeah. Right. Along the river, through the forest it is. So, you all exit the tavern. Uh, I'm, I'm a little I'm, bit insecure I'm about our lack of information about this I'm, domicile. I'm assuming Sigbert's going to gear up before you set off. Oh, oh yes. Very much so. I'm going to do a full gearing gearing up scene and I'm going to have... Um, Everybody both... needs a montage. Yeah, it's a <laughs> montage of... As... <laughs> when Pete was um, really like rolling up the character to make it all the same as it was, I somehow got dual wielding. So that's going to be fun. Oh, did I put that on there? <laughs> Yeah, I was one I was gonna buy, but I think while I was going, I ended up not going it. But I'm happy it's there. <laughs> Handy now, I might say. <laughs> As he's gearing up, I'm gonna look really concerned and keep looking at him and then looking over at my boat. <laughs> I'm in I'm in full place. I've still got the completely bald head, but the mutton chops are back. Um uh yeah. And what was the other thing I was gonna say? No, that was it. That was it. So yeah. Uh, Dan, even you are impressed by this. Although you've got some metal armor yourself, this guy is wearing what looks like very well made full plate armor, apart from his head, Could which is ball, kept yeah. bare. Because Sigmarite. Is there any way I can find out who's delivering food to this place? How they're getting stuff? You can. You can While try. he's tooling up. Because I'm, I'm a little concerned that we're going into this without enough information. And while I do want to chop the fingers off of some Sansovinos, I don't want to get my other fingers chopped off by going in half-cocked. Make a gossip roll. I'm going to follow Gunter around if that helps him in any way. But I, I, a gossip roll, you say? <laughs> I need no help uh, with do you gossip. Want to, do you want to gossip or do you want to let the bounty hunter intimidate people? No, I'll gossip. <laughs> What's the difficulty? Uh, challenging zero. Excuse me. No bonuses. No SL bonus. <laughs> that might do it. I'm only good at one thing, but when I'm good at it. So after wow. just asking around a few people in the tavern, uh, one of them goes, uh, "Yeah, the 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 shop down the road, the grocer." He seems to take packages that way. I'm not 100% sure he goes there, but I think he does. Well, I'll go and have a quick chat with the grocer while my good friend here is putting on 200 pounds of cloves. I, I, I'll come with in you. I know the grocer. Montage. I know the grocer. He's, uh, you know, we do a lot of do a lot of deals. Being a farmer, you know, I, I have a lot to do. Oh, with you're him. a farmer. Yeah. Did I did I not mention it? I, I am. Uh, I've got my own personalized series of uh, farming tool equipment that I, I um, 
like to just which just, goes somewhere just, towards explaining your use of a trowel in place of a dagger it's pretty sharp it's pretty sharp <laughs> so yeah uh, simon does actually know these people when you get there as you approach you see the vendor look up see simon and go <laughs> hey hello simon Oh, hey, how are you doing? How, how's, it, how's, it, how's it going? Looks like you've got everything set up nicely. Looks good today. You're not starting another fire, are you? Look, that was, uh, you know, uh, an accident the last few times. have been pure accidents. I'm not, you know, setting them on purpose. Well, I, don't well, I feel you. suitably reassured by your competency and skills. Um, good well, afternoon, I... Mr. Grocer. How are you this afternoon? Go I on kind on. of bl blinked slightly before looking down and noticing you. Oh, sorry there, Mr. Halfling. Worry not, my friend. Worry not, my friend. I am often overlooked in favour of the taller folk. My name is Mr. Seuss, and I represent a party of investors who are looking to sort of spread out this way. Now, I understand there's a manor house not too far away that we're looking at buying. Big empty place, so I'm told. Oh, yeah. You, you people have moved in there. Stein, I think he said his name was. I think bugger. That's the pain. Do you know if they're selling at all? S selling? Selling what? Well, anything. But if they're selling food, the house, it'd be food. a nice start. I'd quite like to know um, a little bit more about them. See, I reckon they're a, they'd be amenable to a reasonable trade. Most people are. Well, I don't know how long. I don't think they've been there that long. I take some food up to them every now and again. And um, do they look like they're well situated? Sorts of people that could afford a manor house? I mean, the house is a bit of a dump, if you ask me. It's a bit Well, shit. that's why we were it's thinking of buying. See, buy it, enough. do it up. But, you know, invest in the local it's community. Do, it's do, stone. Do, do you, are you got any groceries you need to need taken up there? No, I only took delivery up yesterday. Fair enough. What sorts of things are they ordering? Because like, give me an idea whether they're here for the long haul or if it's just a short stay. Oh, just, you know, the usual food, fresh vegetables. Because so I'm a bit suspicious. They do, I think... they do like some meat, though. I think they might be. And that squatting. does cost a few coin. I can imagine it does. So they've obviously got a bit of cash to throw around. I wonder why they haven't purchased the place then. That seems odd. I think they might be squatting, which, as you know, is um, kind of against imperial law. So I wouldn't want you to get tangled up in that. Oh, you all. I just deliver them some food. No, no, go... not quite. They don't a let bloody me good food. food. I, d I don't go in the house. They don't let me. I would you be willing to. to testify to this, should you be called upon? The guy looks a bit nervous. What? Uh, don't, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. You're, it's probably not going to come to court or anything. I just, I just well, want to well, be able to... I didn't do anything. I just give, no, I just give him don't food. Worry, don't worry, don't, don't worry, worry. Don't worry, not worry, not worry. You're not going to burn it down, are you? He no, says no, looking no, straight no, at no. Simon. You can't burn stone anyway, can you? It has to be really hot to burn stone. But I'm concerned that if they're squatting, then there could be legal recourse taken against these people. Um, once the once the bailiffs find out and the reeves find out, there's going to be all kinds of holy hell and they're going to want to like haul them Make up. a charm test to kind of confuse him and bamboozle him with all your legal mumbo jumbo. Now, as luck would have it, on <laughs> top of that... You're quite good at mumbo jumbo. <laughs> I am very good at mumbo jumbo, so much so that if I succeed... Oh, which I do. <laughs> that inflicts well, I suppose at least it's a, one be an opposed, condition on him. Wouldn't it be an opposed, like, willpower or something? Uh, probably cool. Not against me, it's not. <laughs> Listeners cannot oppose charm with intuition. <laughs> oh, really? You can't. <laughs> Um, oh, so he can't oppose you? Oh, okay. I cannot be opposed. That was lucky because you, you would have yourself. critically failed. Yeah. <laughs> he just stands there looking at you going, <laughs> his mouth open and closing, kind of reminds you a bit of the fish that uh, Trout dumped on the table in front of you, if its mouth was actually moving. I'll tell you what, look. I'm a legal man myself, so what I'll do is if you've got like a bill of sale or anything like that, I could just jot down a few notes Get an idea of what's going on. That would be the only thing they really need you for. So I'll take that off your hands for you, sort it all out. The whole legal side of things will go away then and there. I'll sort it all for you, worry not. 
he takes kind of a few seconds to kind of, you know, gather himself together and goes, uh, 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 yes, kind of disappears. You hear the rustling of papers and he comes out holding holding a, uh, a page that he's clearly torn out of a ledger. This was their last order. Will that do? Lovely, perfect, nice. That's what I like to see. The amount of respect to man who keeps good records, especially in this kind of situation, this will keep you completely out of the whole thing. This is the only evidence we need. You're a good man, you've done a good thing. Um, how much for some cooked sausage? Two, two pennies? Lovely. Don't um, get spending your soul, money on sausages. I've got some fish here you could have. And that's why I'm getting some sausage. And he hands over the sausage. So I shall buy some cooked sausage off him. Give one to Simon and pop one in my mouth like a cigar as we stroll out down the street. Oh, thank you, um, Mr. Seuss. Don't worry, you were a helpful and useful individual, Mr. Simon. Yeah, Seuss, you didn't ask if they, you saw any people in there? Didn't need to. They didn't let him in. Oh, no, but you might have seen through in. the cracks of the door. And two, I've got their bill of sale. And well, that tells me how many people they've got and how long they're planning on staying. How do you get that from some vegetables? He looks at the... Rationing. Rationing. You're not how do you know about man, that, are you? Well, I, we've had a farm. We all hey, have I'll have you know, I come me. from noble stock, Mr. Seuss. I can tell. That's what the Vaughn means. Well, I'm just saying, I can't oh, see on that list. Thank you very much. <laughs> I can't see on that list where it says how many people are in there. Let's I need to know how many, how many people are in there based on the list. Now, as oh. that luck would have it, I've got a supernumerate guy right here who might be yep. able to assist and me. And I have got Trade Farmer, so I, 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 know, <laughs> I know how much it requires each person to like subsist on. And if you're going to sell your food at market, you know, as a farmer, you need to know how many bushels equate to how many people, you know, that kind so of thing. You're gonna, so you're going to show it to Simon to evaluate, are you? Well, I shall evaluate it myself. I mean, what is it to evaluate? Let's go with... Trade farmer. <laughs> Let's go with a survival role for you, Gunter, and a trade farmer role for Simon. <laughs> but you what get is a, the survival? Simon gets a plus 10 from trade farmer. Wicked. And what difficulty is it? Uh, it for you, you get a plus 10. Okay, it's flat difficulty, and Gunter just challenging zero. Can I make a haggle roll instead? Can I haggle with it's, it's not really arguing prices, it's, it's true, but it is tradecraft, was my thinking. Okay, uh, perception you could use. Uh, perception will be no, better you than evaluate. We'll go with evaluate. Evaluate, Let's see if I can get to understanding how much two good rolls got. back to back. Here we go. Uh, and there's three more clicks to do before it actually rolls. <laughs> oh, you can't have a plus 10. You can only have a plus 20. Go with a plus 20. Why not? Oh. Oof. Come on. Click, click, click. Oh. Failed okay. my farming roll. So, first, Simon, you're a bit confused. There is a lot of meat on there. There is way more than you would ever order. Mm. that's what's really throwing you. You would expect to see a lot of vegetables and a very small amount of meat or fish, but there is a lot of meat. Gunter, you're a bit more used to the finer things, so for you it's not so confusing. Pop out a quill and show um, Dan's character, Von Graff. What's your first name? Albrick. Albrick, show Albrick. Look, what you do, right? and I shall bamboozle you with a bit of number work. All are, are, you actually, are you trying to bamboozle him? Not especially, no. Okay, so you reckon it's somewhere between, it could be anywhere between 5 and 15, depending on exactly how much someone would eat. What's the I mean, quality you, of the meat like? It's Is it's, it good cuts or is it shit meat? Because there's a mixture of the dogs two. Rather than, yeah, they've got there's, dogs. There's, there's some very good stuff and there's some... Nah. Or fimir. Yeah. <laughs> Fimir. Based oh. on my nobility. Have you been that. reading my notes? <laughs> no, I just picked a chaos monster. Uh, based on my nobility, looking at that meat order, would it look like that, that was something that nobility would be eating? Maybe the finer cuts. 
because there are there is some steak on there and some goose as well as some salmon <gasps> oh. but then there is also just just a I mean right. the cheap the cheap Awful. meat I mean I'm, meat I'm going to point isn't that cheap even liver stuff I'm mm-hmm. going to point that out to Mr Mr Sue sir these cuts here are normally only consumed by those who are affluent and noble don't I know it, my friend? Don't I know it? You are quite perceptive there. So I would suggest from this that we are looking at someone or a small group of someone's in command of this outfit with either leanings towards or pretensions towards wealth and nobility, backed up by some more common or thuggish minions, possibly some dogs, although there's not as much offal as I would expect if they were feeding dogs. So either they're very well-kept dogs. Nah. Oh, yeah, they were dogs. very well kept dogs, Mister Seuss, but they're not the dogs you're thinking of. There be there be people like ourselves here. You see, there be a uh, criminal type, I reckon. No, I don't think waste this much. Um... Oh, you'll be surprised. You want to keep people on your side. Trust me, I've worked with people like this. I suppose a nice pie does it does do a good exactly. job. Exactly. I'll keep tell you what, Mister Seuss, the fastest yeah, way through it's to amazing the things you belly. can sneak in a pie and people don't realise. Also true. Very true. Can I just point Forget out that we've been staring at a shopping list for a 10 minutes. Thing. This is the shopping episode. <laughs> we said it was a shopping episode, didn't we? <laughs> right, so by now, I would imagine that Siegbert's probably finished getting dressed. Yeah, I mean, Siegbert, Siegbert's done this enough times. He can get dressed relatively quickly for someone donning full plate armour. So I'm going to assume I've gone to Trout's boat and I'm... Like standing by the side, kind of praying quietly um, to myself. So ev- um, everyone's still, I, I, I everyone's still outside the tavern at the moment. Um, all you know about Trout's boat is that he's told you it's a very nice sailing boat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you know to wait for Gunter because you don't know exactly where it is. There is quite a lot of river around. I'll, here. I'll be standing in my it's, full place, it's thumbing five through pairs my of, of waders then. and a cardboard box, <laughs> waiting for him to come back. So everyone returns to the tavern just outside gunter and uh, Sigbert waiting outside is he and Sigbert is waiting outside looking Ulbrich's gonna walk up to him and go nice shiny ting 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 <laughs> we're getting all come our on. gear on i've as got a look as i've got a bow and arrow and, and i've got a shovel over one shoulder and a trowel uh, on my belt as you look at his armor look, closely look at, down, um... you can see it's been used this isn't Shiny. He shovels. He shovels very real well made, well. <laughs> but it is used. This armor oh, yeah. has seen action. Even still, Ulbrich's still going to go ting ting ting, trying to make wow. sure like so he's not intimidated. Like, yeah, I'm like looking at it like wow. Uh, yeah, there's probably going to be some sort of stare down, but then I'm just going to look over at Gunter and then be like, discount or information. Lots of it. Uh, near as I Excellent. can tell, we're looking at five to fifteen, possibly dogs, maybe. Maybe something other than dogs. Beasts. Yeah, of some description. We are so dealing with eats. the taint of chaos here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, well, Hang on a minute. Right. That wasn't negotiating in the pay. No one said anything. It's a good job I bought my I... battle shovel then. Can I have call tests from Dan, Jim, and Pete? Oh, dear. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Simon shits his pants and runs away. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's the. Is it challenging? Uh, challenging, yes. Can I can I suck it up like because I'm noble and I want to like look impressive in front of the priest? We'll find out. <laughs> well, we'll find out. Don't have any fortune points, so you can't. Oh, like, cool. Give you oh, Dan does bloody have one hell! Roll. Bloody hell! Here we go. What difficulty oh, is it? Oh man, I challenging. Just... <laughs> so close. Never mind. Do you know, what? actually, I feel like my character would try and suck it up. Let's go. Ah, ah, Damn you, success. Blind ignorance. I pull my battle shovel off my shoulder, and you can see that I've serrated the the edge of the spade. (laughs) Right, so at the mention of chaos... I wish to aid them. No, it was on the spot. You blurted it out. As you blurt (sighs) out, as you drop the (laughs) C-bomb... Simon doesn't look bothered. In fact, he looks eager. He suddenly gets that kind of glint in his eye. Oh, yes, but he's a. This is going to be good. Um, 
the witch, yeah. the bounty Mando. hunter doesn't give a lot away, but you see his eye suddenly go widen slightly and then twitch. So my noble blood talent wouldn't have helped me any at all there. No. No, it just means people respect you. Yeah. Um, Get back on side. <laughs> Trout, however, looks visibly shaken by what you've just said. Well, Mr. Seuss, when we negotiated, there was no mention of chaos. No, there was no mention of chaos, was there? Kind I'm of afraid. a point that there was no mention of chaos. Well, I'm afraid Mr. Sigbert's given up the ghost already. Yes, he does that from in, time to before time. Before we involved. I feel like that me and my... He likes to throw that word around a little bit more than is entirely necessary. I I do understand he is a priest of Sigma and everything is heretical and chaos-based. But there was a tint of honesty to his voice. There's always a hint of honesty to his voice. Something tells me you guys aren't telling us everything because I think it's insinuated that you guys know who we're after. All right. right. Full disclosure. Old old Trout's feeling poorly. (laughs) Don't worry, old trout. I've got you covered, mate. Full disclosure. Some fucker cut off one of my fingers. Oh, God. Yeah. Happens Not in happy. Mind work, though. What? And yeah. it turned to chaos and started killing people and uh, pick? Not, not the finger. Plow? The finger did not turn to chaos. Fork? How did he do it? Okay. He used a knife. Oh. I don't remember particularly because at the time I was busy screaming and shouting. Was it a fish? I like cut off a man's finger with a cigar. Clicker. Yeah, all right. Talking to a man who's had his finger cut off, a little bit of sensitivity, maybe, would be appreciated. Apologies, now, Mr. Seuss. My, the gentleman my in question have pretensions towards being a religious order. Now, they're not really religious. They're a bunch of phony, wannabe, culty idiots that fancy dancing around and make wiping. some kind of deception test, Ben. <laughs> Some kind of deception. Uh, I don't know. Definitely opposing this. Is there a deception? Yeah, there's like a. It's charm. Oh, isn't it? It's a charm. charm. Okay, yeah. make a charm test. Everyone else, make a cool test. Cool or intuition? You can't uh, intuition, intuition against me. Yeah. In, no, I'm going to allow them in this one because okay. you're all shitting out of every oh, or. Yeah. Intuition test. Can, for can I else. use cool? <laughs> can I, yeah, can I use cool? Intuition. Intuition. Damn it. How are we supposed to beat that? <laughs> Whoa. Six yeah, no, success I, levels. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I don't know. If one of so I'm just going to pull it out of the bag. Beat it. Or no, no, if you get, get a crit, you'll, uh, you'll believe. Oh. oh. Did all right, oh. though. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 yeah, that seems that seems reasonable. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah okay. Um, yeah, fair enough. You, you believe him? I don't care. I'm not scared. I'm fine. Um, so However, I think there might be something slightly more to it, but you think he's generally telling me. Basically, the they're pretentious little cultists who like to dance around and pretend like they're all cool and edgy, but they're not. They're just a bunch of spoiled little. Did bitches. you say I can take stuff off. from their house? Also, you can take stuff from their house. Then I'm okay. Not to mind, they're the last of an infestation of rats, all the rest of whom we've eradicated already. Plus, I will increase the base rate of pay from silver to gold for this little shenanigan. Okay. That little bombshell suddenly makes you all very reassured. Uh This sounds like a great idea. (laughs) Do you know what, Mr. Seuss? You sound like a stand-up guy, and these guys are clearly criminals that need to be dealt with. Of course, in the name of Sigma, of course, Mr. Priest Sigbert. Um, I will be happy to take your gold, obviously in the name of Sigma, to deal with these said criminals. If it puts your mind at rest, gentlemen, I am a fully trained lawyer <laughs> and um, can tell you that everything we're doing is entirely within the bounds of the law. Uh, all I need to know is there's gold and Mr. Priest Boy here says it's good to hammer them. If that's the case, I don't think anybody's going to argue with us. I'm going to turn, 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 turn towards him and go, Mr. Priest boy, okay. I'm gonna go and stand. <laughs> and gonna the, try, next where's to the, the boat? most impressive boat uh, on the dock? Oh, you hey, see so, that trout? You've been telling us about this boat all day. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Looking to well, ride in style. She's a beauty. Yes. Yeah, so I mean, as you round the corner, you are expecting some finely, you know, beautiful boat. Even perhaps just a very well kept fishing boat. You might think he's just a bit proud. What you see 
is a piece of shit. <laughs> it looks like it is about to fall apart. It is a do, rickety. Do you mean barely, the one behind that? Barely. Yeah, trout. Do we get in this one to boat. take out to the to the boat? Well, this one did the castle run. <laughs> 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 Run. Um, I knew you were mad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, Caraberg run in there. under three hours. <laughs> yeah. She she's a sturdy one. Only tr- thing is, I don't mean to be a Dieter Downer, but um old metal boy, yeah. Um He's gonna go uh, straight through. He, he might Shh. sink it. He won't sink it. He's buoyed up by the power of Sigma. Why Mr. would anybody Seuss. cover themselves in that much rust? That's what I want to know. Mr. It's Seuss, not rusty. I'm not even sure that boat's going to hold us, let alone Mr. Full Plate. Where, where, where was the road? Where was the road? <laughs> um, at this, while you're all kind of suddenly a bit unnerved by the boat, Trout jumps in. He literally jumps into the boat, and it, it kind of beggars belief. The boat doesn't creep. Or anything. How, it how goes, big is it? Is it big enough for all of us? It would be big enough to hold about seven people. Okay. Ah, that'd be all right then. His armor's not worth two people, is it? So. Oh, jump in. Just sit in the middle, um, Mr. Priest. Your your holiness. (laughs) He's not holy. He's a Sigma guy. And he taps him on the shoulder. He's He's holy. (laughs) Technically, his proper form of address would be the Blessed Siegbert. As he stands at the minute, given that he is an ordained priest of Sigma and does carry the blessings of his god, I'll just call him well, Sir. Actually, actually I'd like ordained. to point out for anyone who's forgotten that Gontrasus originally knows me as a foppish noble <laughs> yeah. and in a lot of trouble, and he got me out of some legal <laughs> yeah. scrapes before I found God. Yes, absolutely. Which is, which is why I haven't been that, too but... offended by them calling you Metal Boy and Priest Boy. It's also why, like, I'm not. I, Righteous in terms of Sigmar, but I'm not like overly offended. It's not the first time I've been insulted. Yeah. Oh, the whole time along, Ulbricht thought this guy's just a big old uh, fraud. Yeah, he's yeah, got yeah. the metal, and he, but it, uh, Ulbricht thinks you guys are playing an act. But now you've just said he's ordained. Ordained? Are you having a laugh? This guy, he's not ordained, is he? He's ordained. I'm getting he's an in actual the boat. priest of Sigmar. He, I'm getting he's in an the actual boat. Priest of Sigmar. <laughs> uh, look, oh, he's got the hammer and the the symbol and it doesn't everything. Think, look. A hammer and armor doesn't make. It's a got the, the papery thing with the with the wax on it. Look, my house has loads of those in. I mean, uh, a house I knew had loads of those things in. <laughs> Look, it's a proper one. I'm going to bend down really close to Siegbert's kind of waist, <laughs> gro- <laughs> midriff area, and be like, "Look, it's a real one. It's got proper handwriting on it and everything. He's a All proper right. priest." All right, but if he's a proper sir, priest, sorry, he sir. can make he can make the hammer glow, right? I know, let, let's just get in the boat. Down. Come on, before the and fucking thing sinks. when the time comes, <laughs> you will behold the majesty and might of the god of your empire in full flow through blessed Sigbert here. Great god Sigmar doesn't take well to um, demonstrations of power for the purposes of pleasing people. You'll see it's it not in the proper off. time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't just dish when... it out whenever, do you? You, you, like, you do it when it's needed. Simon, not, not... you are such a kiss ass. He's a fucking <laughs> priest of Sigma. <laughs> I believe it when I see it. So Dan, Ulbrich you... believes what he can see. Although so look, he's unconv- ripped and he's got bloody armour on. Just shut up. Get Although you're boat. a bit unconvinced he's a priest, this guy is wielding a really good looking hammer. And oh, he's yeah. wearing Ul- full plate Ulbrich, armor. Ul- 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 really Ulbrich, Ulbrich is well aware that if the guy decided to smash him, <laughs> he'd be dead. But it's in Ulbrich's character to like play the hell out of this. Yeah, that's no, great. I love it. Yeah, yeah, Ulbrich okay. absolutely right, thinks so... that we're running a scam on these yeah, guys. Yeah, I, yeah. Ulbrich so, doesn't. I can't, I can't imagine if one of our party would have made a thought that. Right, so, <laughs> <laughs> the smooth talking halfling, bro. Uh, I know. They're doing the old. All right. Priest and the lawyer scam. I, I know oh, Trout good. and Simon are in the boat. Is yeah, I'm going to get in. I'm going to get in and I'm going to get into yeah. the front. Yeah. I'm going to get in as well. And, and as the boat moves, you know, Ulrich's going to stand stoically at the front, you know, the wind blowing against him. Are you getting I'm gonna in? Get it, I'm going to get into wherever I feel like the ballast is less likely to <laughs> tip us all over. As so, like, in, everyone's on one side, I'm going to get in the other. As you get in, make an athletics test, please, Kev. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like my best skill athletics. Challenging. Oh, great. <laughs> As you get in, you hear 
an almighty like almost scream as the wood creaks it does not sound happy it doesn't break the boat does however go as you kind of sit down and like Sigma, I've got this <laughs> I'm quietly pray to myself right you're all in Krauser off to you all right yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't move around a lot. <laughs> right, Over uh, to you. Let's Krauser, make some headway. Make some kind of sail skill roll, uh, skill <clears throat> test for me if there is one. Uh, uh, yes, I've got, ro- of... I've, I've got rowing. Ah, perfect. Make a rowing. Uh, it's uh, the water's relatively calm. It's plus 20. Oh. This is more see my swim how stand, quickly you get there. Mr. There. Seuss, does anyone know where we're going? Should I be watching out with my bow? <laughs> oh, that's oh my god, that's only one negative success level on an eighty one, bloody. Hell. That's that's not it's not too bad. Like it's a little bit rickety, and every now and again you have to pause when you hear the boat boat complaining to you almost. Yeah. That's about that's the very it, heavy yeah. metal man mm. that sat in the middle of it. Old trout don't like all that metal, wouldn't it? In, in Mary. But you, you know, nevertheless, you do proceed. It's you know raining. I'll out be singing a few rain. river shanties. <laughs> oh, good. Ulrich's just up front with his crossbow, just looking heroic and noble. The Adventures of Portland Bill. <laughs> <laughs> so as you're Ulrich sailing thinks this up is the river, like Heart of Darkness or something. Uh, Dan, make a perception test. Oh dear. Perception. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at that. I kind of feel like I should be making consume alcohol tests at this point. <laughs> oh, you dither are on the river. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I got a nine with three successes thingies. Hey, as you as you get you're approaching where you think you need to stop, you do kind of see some movement. You're not quite sure what it is. You thought it was it a bloke? Was it a deer? You're not sure. Here, Mr. Sousa, do you think they might be expecting us? Unlikely, but they might have people out to see if anyone's coming up on them. I just saw some movement in the wood line. Couldn't quite see what it was, but it was definitely some movement. Can I have a look? Uh, you can try. And I'll point I'll him in the general late. direction. Ooh, critical success. Wow. You, you see a face kind of looking around the tree at you. It's not a human face. It looks more like a deer. But you also see a hand. Deer don't have hands. Bollocks. What is it, Mr. Seuss? What's wrong? Right, so you remember how we may have mentioned that there was a minor potential for some slight chaos involvement? You um, told me there wasn't. No, it we may admitted have to you that there was a minor possibility of chaos involvement. Now, presumably you also know about the standard risks of going into the forest. Yeah, the, the, the men who look like beasts well, and the beasts who look well, like men. Yeah. 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 Now, go I remind you as well that it was Mr Krauser who suggested that we come this way through along the river and into the forest, which we have done so as to allay your fears and suspicions. However, there's no chaos in the river. Well, no, but there is some in the forest. There appears to be beast men. Uh, there's beast men in all the forests. You've got to watch out. You know, you've got to guard your farm well, build your, your fences and your walls high. All right. I'm glad you, you appreciate the risks involved in going into the forest yeah. where there's beast Absolutely. men. You killed any beast men before, Mr. Ulrich? I mean, one or two. Oh. You can't tell if he's blagging or not, but... <laughs> I probably can. He probably can. <laughs> if, you, if you're lying, make a charm roll. He's or not are lying. You telling he, he's not lying. He's, 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 it probably wasn't like a proper beastman. It was probably more like an ungore little, you know, little thing. Okay. As far as you, he's you've seen a beast person him. of some yeah. kind. I've, I've seen a beast Ling. person. Yeah. And I'll put an arrow right square between his eyes. You spent 20 minutes crying and rolling around in the mud whilst frantically trying to stab it in the leg. 
Okay, as, you, as you're standing around talking to them, you kind of glance back to where you saw it and it's gone. Where, where was it? I'll pull a, an arrow on my bow and I'll look out. Ah, it's gone now. Oh, Pete, you got a reroll. Yeah, I know. So, Thank you very much, gentlemen. They weren't Ken. expecting us before, Mr. Seuss. They're probably expecting us now. Well, only if they're in league. In league. We'll pull up, we'll make our way from here. Sounds the blood bowl league. You think you're about where you're supposed to be. From the information that Simon gave you, you think this is about where you want to get up, where you want to moor up. Well, well Mr. Uh, you, Captain Krauser, let's moor up. Can you make me a row skill roll, please, Mr. Krauser? Again, plus 20. Let's try it. One day I am going to attach a sail to this thing, and then I shall roll sail. <laughs> um. <laughs> This might give you the money that you need to affix said so. Oh, hey. an impressive, an impressive success there. Oh, hey, right. As as you tell him to moor up. Uh, that was your bow range. He flicks your... <laughs> you just shot an arrow really impressively. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. If you rolled a 13. You're you rolled 13. Would... So you oh, yeah, you got like seven. Oar. You bring the you bring the bow straight to the bank. I can't believe I rolled bow instead of row. <laughs> no, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> We'll, we'll take the 13. So you Remember, flick... kids, Lidexia is not a gloffing matter. <laughs> you flick the oar, bring the bow straight at a muddy bank and give it a good heave on the oars. The boat glides in and moors up on the muddy bank. Bagsy getting out before Siegbert. And I shall jump off nimbly. So you, you will get off the boat. And you are now in the forest. Right, which way was it, Simon? 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 Uh, that way. I'm looking <laughs> around. I'm like looking around. Uh, I, and I figure we've gone down the river this way. The farm's over that way. So it's over there. Make a navigation right. test, please, Simon. You lead us, Simon. Oh, shit. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, I'm crack navigator, me. Absolutely. What's the difficulty? Uh, plus 20, because you are a local. Okay. I do, in fact, have law local, don't I? Mainly yes. through trade farming. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Yeah, Look you, at that. You know, I'm doing you all right with my rolls are. tonight. <laughs> you've been out. You've foraged in these forests. You know, you know where you are. And you progress on? Are you just going to kind of walk towards it? I got my bow out and I'm doing my best impression of someone sneaking through the forest. <laughs> yeah, I think I should have my sling out. I'm like running up to a tree, looking around, running up to the next tree, looking around, completely <laughs> exposed, but but trying for all that he can to look like a professional. Ulbricht's He's imagining, like... how would El Ulbricht do it? <laughs> Ulbricht's just shaking his head and walking normally. <laughs> So you're just strolling towards the place. We're There's no kind of chaos in the forest. No chaos, chaos, chaos. No, no, no. There isn't <laughs> none honest. No, no. All, all bricks standing sort of quite fairly really close to the, the giant guy in giant plate mail. Figured, even if it's a con, he probably knows what he's doing with those two hammers. Okay, perception tests, everyone. Oh. Difficulty? Minus 20. Oh, <laughs> bloody hell. <laughs> I can't, I, I can't. Remember, a 1 to 5 is always a pass. Oh, man, if it wasn't a bloody minus Astounding. 20. Astounding. Oh, oh, is that one of those bats up there? Oh. <laughs> no, failed. Oh. Impressive failure. I like it. I got Astounding. Astounding. Failure. Astounding. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Seuss. Uh, I succeeded. Right. <laughs> I'd like to think I'm saving my rolls for combat. Well, another GM reroll from Bubble Reg. Cheers, Bubble Reg. Um, <laughs> Gunter, please reroll your perception. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Very good. Haven't you got like still? You still got two more, don't you? you got I three do. already. <laughs> He'll slap us with him later. Yep. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> still passed. Also <laughs> succeed. <laughs> okay. So 
as you're kind of just walking through the forest, there's quite a lot of noise going on around you because you are just trudging through the forest. Although <laughs> Simon is desperately trying to look like he knows what he's doing. I look excellent. He's no hunter. He is. He's that guy doing combat stuff. roles, isn't he? he? He's that one guy who's like, yep. I've watched war movies. Yep. Yes, only there's no such thing as war movies in this. But he's basically yeah. the Johnny English of the farming world. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Super. Super. To you, pulp, he's doing pulp novellas about um, fighting. I think he's a bit to of you, a he is doing. Tech. He's doing what he believes is an impression of what you would do if you were in a <laughs> combat situation. It it looks ridiculous, but it's what he believes he is but doing. But I've got heart, and I'm trying. As long as he's going <laughs> to fight. Enjoyed. This so, isn't Captain Planet, though. <laughs> so there's a lot of noise going on with the heavy footsteps. Why the heart there's, ring? Oh. Uh, Trout's, you know, whistling a little bit. Gunter, however, I was just thinking, far okay. I said, you know, you're kind of used to filtering things out. You spent a lot of time with Alvin. <laughs> you kind of look, kind of something. You hear something that doesn't quite sound next near you, and you look over, and you see a pair of eyes looking straight at you. I try and wing a shot right into it. Then make a ballistic skill roll. Everyone, roll initiative. Oh, hey. Wait, how, do I, how do I roll initiative? Is it, initiative? On the combat panel, there is an initiative button. Lovely. Initiative. Hey. So normal difficulty? No, wait. High is good on this, isn't it? High is good. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Just initiative. Oh yeah. I can't remember where initiative is. <laughs> on the combat, combat panel. panel, under controls on the right, there's a little button. Oh, hello. He's got a Beastman character sheet set up. GM prep, hey, Roger. I know, right? Now you know my pain and Ben's pain. Okay, right. Bear with me while I quickly write this Re-roll down. Reroll for I am only so organized. Hey, thank you very much. It looks like uh, Gunter Seuss is going first anyway. So, 40. Gunter. Then Trout. Plus, I got my pre go. Why is my agility? Trout. Siegbert. Thank you. Yeah. Alberic. And then me and you. Simon and the Beast Man. Okay. Uh, Pete, can you roll me a d10, please? I gain 10 wounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. For this first round, it is a surprise round for everyone except Gunter. Right. Oh, so Gunter. we're surprised. We have the surprised condition. You are... Sure, why not? <laughs> that's what that's what happens when you're surprised. You get the surprised condition. Right, so that yes. sling Hooray. attack that I did, does that count, or do I need to do another one because uh, I did that before initiative because I thought it was roll oh, that and on. then roll yeah, initiative? Yeah, no, no, it's fine. That, that, that it's, the same, it's effectively the same thing because with okay. surprised, you can take no action or move and cannot defend yourself in opposed tests, plus 20 to hit against you for your first opponent. Okay. So you get a plus 20 to hit that guy. Uh, the Beastman is not surprised. Oh, okay, sorry. Right. You all, are all surprised all apart surprised. from Gunter. Okay. Well, on the upside, I hit him in the head. Okay, how much damage do you do? Um, that's a good question. How much damage do I do? I better... Mm, the GM screen came in handy there. Cool. It's odd not being the GM in Wifrup, to be honest. Um, damage is six plus opposed success levels. What does that mean? Which is one because so... you got a plus one. Okay, so seven to the face. Okay, you you sling the stone. It flies through the air almost in slow motion as you see it impact on the nose of this deer face. It bounces off, and you're kind of met with a... <clears throat> followed by suddenly a loud braying noise as two beastmen rush out from cover. One that you saw and one that you didn't. <laughs> so <laughs> we're all crapping ourselves and Siegbert's <laughs> just like, 
Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't rolled anything yet, Pete. Ah, I haven't had breakfast so far, yet. It's been an astounding <laughs> failure. So, okay. let's look at so the, first, the first beastman rushes straight at Trout. Wow. <laughs> yeah, you got to re roll. So, Trout. Do we have time to get my fish out? <laughs> <laughs> You can pull your fish out if you want to. Yeah, um, I'll, I'll, I'll go gonna... elbow deep and pull my fish right out. <laughs> okay. So you're not going to bash him with the bishop? Make no. a weapon skill roll, For the please, coup de grace. Mr. Trout. <laughs> is that a euphemism? Yes, it is. And did you say you get a bonus to uh, charging someone that surprised me? If the person is surprised, they cannot... Uh, defend and you get a plus 20 to hit them. Okay. The first person to hit them gets a plus 20. Sorry. Is it is it a challenging roll or? Uh, yes. It's just a flat zero. Oh, okay. Oh. What is your weapon skill? Um. With the hand weapon or just weapon skill on its own? Uh, melee basic. Melee basic. Uh, well, here's skills. So it's You've got on plus the left 20, so it'd be 55. Column. You can figure it out from the roll there. So he had a plus 20, his target number is 75. Yeah. Uh, oh no, he's, he's rolling yeah. 45. Oh, so your target number was 52. Yeah. So you actually, as this thing comes rushing in, you fling up the fish just at the last second as this vicious looking axe comes tearing down towards you. But you s somehow slap it to the side as your trout impacts the side of the axe, just knocking it away from you. <laughs> Yeah. The second beastman comes rushing out. And bum rushes straight at Simon. They're clearly not fools. They're not going for the big one in all the metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they're so, trying to demoralise us. So, Simon, please make me a, a weapon skill roll. A melee basic. Oh, Egil has pointed out you can use a resolve point to remove surprise condition. But I don't have any resolve points. Were you actually silent? What am I doing? Sorry. Melee basic. Oh, yeah, am I? Am I? I'm, I'm, I'm parrying with my battle shovel. Hopefully. Yep. You can parry with your. <laughs> Give that a crit. Shovel. Come Here on. Here we go. Sorry, my, my computer is being so slow. Here we go. Just don't crash. I've got. I think I've got a reroll, haven't I? You do. Yeah. Let's have a look. I might need it. Oh, I'm going to reroll that definitely. I'm going to reroll that. I'm going to reroll that. Uh, ignore that one. Ignore that one. Don't don't look at the screen. Don't look at the screen. Oh no. It's been nice knowing you, Simon. Um, here we go. Challenging. Work out whether Dan is the Blue Raja and Jim is um, Shoveler, Mr. Furious, because you're clearly the Shoveler. Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that wasn't really much better. At least it wasn't a critical failure. It was impressive, and, though. But yeah, you got nine success levels. I think I'm about oh, to die, aren't I? Good Lord. This is going to sting. Yeah. Good job. I've got. Where did you hit me? Right leg. Oh, God, I haven't got any armor on my uh, leg. No, I have to roll to determine where I hit you, because that was it a critical. Hit in the first hit, it says hit location right leg. Uh, it would, but it's a crit, and you re-rolled to see where you hit when you get a crit. Oh, of course, yeah, you get your special. I think it's it did a re-roll for you, but never mind. It's cool. Oh, did it? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Oh, all I'm oh yes, it did. Is. Sorry, you're quite right. Yeah. Right leg. So you get hit in the right leg for... Yeah. Simon talked a good game, but uh, when it boiled down to it, you know what I mean? <laughs> he just said he's like clinging to so. He ain't run away yet. Um, MVP away. with the fish. 
16 points of damage to your... Wow. Okay, okay, well... Well... Yeah, that was colossal uh, cock-up. Uh, so, oh, well, did you have fun playing, Pete? I've got toughness bonus of four. You, you lost the finger. He's lost yeah. the leg. I've got a toughness bonus of four, so I take 12 points of damage. And uh, where are my wounds? Main. I can't take come 12 on. points of damage. Come on. Come on. Art and live. Where are my wounds? They're on the combat bit, aren't they? Are they? They're on the combat section, just below where it's got advantage. On the oh, 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 I'm not dead. I've taken 12 points of damage. I have 14 wounds. <laughs> oh. So oh. I am on two wounds. I scream in pain like, and start crying like this is horrible. The worst thing I've ever had happen to me in my life. Ah! Ah! Ah, Sigma, help me, please. Sigma, help me. Right. I'm a real healy guard, is Sigma, right. unfortunately. You now will gather your wits. The sudden howl brain Sorry, of these things as they rush now. out. And a spurt of blood minutes, which goes straight up in the air. And then comes straight back down on Simon. Just completely Where's... coating him. <laughs> yeah. Excellent. And we're back to the top. Gunter. It's wait, did I do anything? It, you were surprised. surprised. Yeah, oh, you were yeah. all surprised. Yeah, 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 yeah. Never mind. Right, so I'm going to step into the middle of this lot. So if anybody wants to get me, they've got to get past all of them first. <laughs> <laughs> and sling one more time. Like a hero. Which one are you slinging? The one that's attacking Trout or the one that's attacking Simon? The one with the bloody nose. The one with the bloody nose. And what's the difficulty? It's just a, a flat roll. So challenging. Is that challenging plus zero? Yeah, plus zero. Uh, I fail. Oof. You sling. You're desperately trying to not hit uh, Trout as you sling. I do have a marginal fail, him. so I might still hit. Uh, it can't oppose you. Okay. And the stone just wings clean past it. But you don't hit Oh, Of course, trout. it's ballistic, not stabby stabby. It is. Uh, trout, it's you. It's me. Right. So I'm if gonna you hit. Do not, remember, you have advantage. So on the combat section of the sheet, yep. uh, change advantage by pressing a little plus to one because you def successfully defended yourself against this braying beastman. Uh, yes. Okay. So I am going to hit him with the bishop. Are oh, you going to use the bishop this time? Yes. Okay. Make me a uh, make me an attack roll. Oh, Ooh. feel feel the bishop! Wow, sixty-two. You're well good in melee. <laughs> okay. So, uh, where's the seventy-two? Someone, I seem to have misplaced my table. Right in the seventy-twos. Right in the seventy-twos. Uh, never mind. It's That's here. the left arm. Uh, it's the body. Body. That's the body. Oh, it's above the man. thing, not below it. Right, I, shall, I shall sort of go in low and, and really sort of hit him on the upper into his sort of... It's a pod shot. Ribs. You're pod shotting him, aren't you? I wasn't yeah. a 69. Uh, so you, you kind of duck down as you've managed to block his axe using the momentum. As it kind of knocks you down, you kind of... Swing low, and then as you bring yourself up, you bring up your studded club that you normally use to brain fish and <laughs> land a vicious blow into this thing. How much damage do you do? Uh, seven plus uh, opposed uh, success levels, which is six. nine because yes. you got a plus four and it got a minus five. So you okay, minus 16. Minus 16 wounds. <laughs> this thing howls in agony. You feel the bishop. It is not happy at all. Sorry, 16 wounds. Christ. 
Okay, and you gain another advantage. Uh, Sigba, you're up. I have a question that I can't seem to find the answer to myself that you might know. Mm -hmm. When I invoke or or pray, does that count as an action or a half action? Yes, or what? it's an action. Okay, well then, um, further question. Can I assume that I had my hammers out or do I have to take them out? We list, you were walking through a forest in the Empire. You'd be an idiot not to have your hammers out. Excellent. I'm going to... Um, in my main hand, I have the fancy new hammer and in my off hand, I have the less fancy but still awesome Sigmar... Um, branded hammer and i'm going to hit the not not yet bloodied one so the one that is attacking the one that just landed a vicious blow on simon yeah i would i would actually go for that one anyway because i'm trying to get it off simon okay so you charge into combat with that one uh, you gain advantage okay and yeah. make me a why is my my advantage isn't going up when i when i press the plus for some reason can i do it manually yeah I can. I'll just add in ten if it'll let you somewhere. Then. Is it? It's one though, isn't it? Not ten. Yeah. Well, it's yeah, one advantage. One, yeah. one advantage, plus which is plus ten. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So um, can, a melee basic. Do I just click the holy warhammer in my in my weapons, yes. or do I? Yes. Okay, if you cool. do that, it does all the stuff. Challenging. Better. -da, better. -da. Whack. Now. Ooh. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use a chat reroll. Uh, and you've used your chat reroll, I believe. I got another one. Oh, did you? Oh, then I yes, got, you I can. I got a second one. You can indeed. And I can always chat reroll. I can always use. Apologies it. for yeah. disappearing for a moment there. That's all right. That's all right. You died in the meantime. Oh, okay, you? cool. Everyone in don't... chat knows that you went inside for a cry. <laughs> I'm not gonna. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, not gonna be... I don't know. Should I use a reroll actually? Because I'm not gonna be able to beat that, am I? You won't beat that with a reroll. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to beat that. Um, question. Much as I hate the idea of action economy, I think dual wielding only works if I hit, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sure. You why not? Ego, that feel free to tell us you? That's only four success levels. You can get. Oh, seven your target success number levels. is seventy-five. So that is. You a could get number. seven success levels. Okay. Yeah, I'll give it a reroll and see what happens. So you're using one of your fortune points. Go for it. No, I'm using the second oh, chat reroll. Oh, your second chat reroll. You go for it. I love chat. They are lovely, aren't they, in chat? Plus five. There you go. Yes. Beat it by one. So the blow land. Where do you hit it? In the 92. In the you're... right leg. And you do nine points of damage. Okay. I do nine points of damage, and then because I hit it, chaos. I can hit with my offhand, except I have to switch the roll, so it's 92, so it's going to miss anyway. So, yeah, so you've done, so it's, what, your strength bonus is four, your hammer gives you four. Yeah. And you get plus one for the extra success level, which is nine, and if you read the description in your hammer, you do plus one damage versus chaos, Whoa. which includes creatures of chaos. So you actually do ten damage to the beast. Nice. So where do we say that was the right leg? I'm gonna I'm gonna aim for his knee. I assume he's got a backwards knee. I'm gonna he aim does. for his knee, swinging forward, and try and just crack it to, to try and knock him off his feet if I can. Like, Oof. okay. So that does uh, quite a substantial blow to the beast. My second hammer swings and just goes into the ground where I'm trying to hit both at the same time like i'm trying to go okay whack, so whack make into another legs. melee basic test. It, no it, the, i think the way it works is it flips the number right so yeah, i get 92 you, on my yeah you flip the dice and if you scored another hit with the flip your second oh, okay, weapon yeah. hits yeah no, so my 92 one, would be yeah. way the fuck off but you, i think you keep your do you yeah you, don't lose. Lose. you won't yeah. lose. i won't hit anyway you assume no i get again ego if we're wrong tell us <laughs> I don't get advantage, though. <laughs> In spite of having hit him, I don't get advantage unless both attacks hit. I didn't oh. I didn't really it. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Okay, well, regardless, you have advantage, and you actually lost him both of his, because he had two, because he charged and hit. Did he so... hit? <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, sorry, we also forgot you got a plus 20 for outnumbering, so you actually did two more points of damage. Oh, cool. Cool. Right, so next up we have Alberic. Alberic. Everything um, is just going absolutely crazy around you. However, Albrecht's it looks cool. like the priest knows what he's doing. If even if he's not a priest, he knows how to swing that hammer. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to um, turn. I'm, is where, Where's the beast in relation to me? So if I'm next to sort of Gunter Seuss and you've, Trout. You've actually got one either side of you. There's kind of 
as you're kind of looking what's going on, if you look to the left, there's one that's uh, just, you know, doing bad things to poor old Simon. He's going to get a battle shovel in the face, so don't worry. And if you look to your right, you've got one that is just having a bad day. (laughs) Yeah, so the one... Uh, Trout just really, you know, Bullet it. Yeah. Um, but um, the other one that's uh, went for Simon is now fighting Plate Boy. Yes. So yeah. both of them are now, uh, well, Trout is fighting one on his own, and Sigbert and Simon are fighting the other one. So, too. yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to run up to the one that's fighting Trout, obviously behind, and stab him with a sword, you know, gloriously. Okay. Stab him so you charge in and <laughs> advantage. Uh, so, so I gain advantage, do I? You do. Do I get any advantage so, for stabbing him in the back? Uh, if you no. hit him. So he's aware you're there. So you get plus one advantage for that. And you get plus 20 to your attack roll because you outnumber him two to one. Okay. So advantage. Yeah. I hit. They're probably like... Unless he <laughs> defends. Unless he defends. He doesn't know I'm coming. Shh. Oh! Fair enough. Wowzer. Wow. Okay. So advantage so, Roger, to the Stop it. We want to play you, the game. Oh my you God. come hammering in, bringing the sword in, thinking, ah, oh, this guy's got no idea I'm coming. And so out of the, just instinctively, his nostrils flare. He smells you coming, steps to the side and brings up his axe and blocks your sword. That means it's now Simon. Gen2K has just said, Simon can create a battle shovel leg attachment for himself if he survives, which I think is an amazing idea. Using Trade Farmer. Absolutely. So I'm going to pull the battle shovel out. I don't know. We've we've all got weapons out, haven't we? So I've got my battle shovel, and I'm going to um, attack the beastman that so foully hurt me. Okay, so again, you get plus 20 because... Courtesy of a very large armored man helping you. Okay. I'm. I mean, he's he is helping me. You know, I'm. I'm. I'm taking it out. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyone want to give me a reroll? <laughs> I believe you. Here we go. Come on, let's do this. Oh. <laughs> oh, flying shovel kick. That would be awesome. But I can't do it unless someone gives me a re-roll. It's not going to work. Can I give Simon one of my re-rolls? No. <laughs> oh. So you, you, the bring down, you bring down... Oh, oh no, hello. There we go. Ah. Oh, you've got two. Hey, wicked. That always happens. They take but pity one of them on me. Is stumpy Simon. Yes, <laughs> yes. Who is the shortest member of the party, we should add? Even shorter now. Second shortest member of the party. Oh, I think now he's probably shortest shorter. human. Ha ha! Huzzah! Four success levels, which beats your three. Oh, it does beat the three. Yes. So you do bring in the shovel. And so, where did you hit him? So I'm going <laughs> to... I'm a, <laughs> a 61, which I believe is the body. I'm going to stick it into him and then put yes. my foot on it. And like, you know, like you would the earth. Uh, and, and try and shovel his guts out of his stomach. Uh, like, uh, uh, come on, and uh, do eight points of damage. Uh, okay, so you, you jam the shovel in yeah. and you kick it with your foot. It grunts. It is really, it looks fuming. There is just hatred in his eyes as it looks at you. I'm going to say, plow this. <laughs> <laughs> I so, still see you. <laughs> it is now the it is now the beastman's turn. Oh dear, it's going to nut me to you, death. You can shovel it. <laughs> so the first beastman, I'm saving that one for later. The one in combat with Gunter, uh, not Gunter, Sigbert and Simon, is going to attack the very scary metal man that just appeared out of nowhere. No offense, Sigbert, but I'm going to die. He is clearly <laughs> the the big, you know, the more threatening target. I so if you can two success levels. I just do the. I just do holy warhammer again, or do I do? Uh, yes, but you've yeah. got two advantages. Remember, Some I only great, have one. Great shovel puns. No, in you the, charged uh... in and you won the combat, so you have two. 
Oh, I thought I didn't get it with Jewel Wielder. Oh, no, sorry, you said you didn't, did you? So you yeah, didn't yeah. get one. But okay, does he so... outnumber? Uh, it doesn't count for defending. Oh, oh, sorry. So it's still difficulty challenging, and then I just put in input value of 10? Is that uh, how it is? Yes, if your advantage isn't working on the sheet. Uh, oh, no, it probably is, actually. Hang on, sorry. I so it's in the it. combat section on the right? Yeah, no, I have advantage plus one on that. It's just I oh, don't okay. know if I need then yes, input just, or anything. Just, just roll... That. Melee yeah. basic on the zero. All the submits. Plus six. Yeah. <laughs> wow! So Thirteen. It comes in to land a vicious body blow on you. Can I take How... it on the vampire? It's just like. <laughs> However, as it does, you literally just ram the head of the hammer straight into the axe, and it just bounces off harmlessly. It did not see that coming. The second one is just looking with hatred at Trout after that gut blow you just landed on the thing, you and it's going to attack demolished you. It. So Trout, if that. you can make me I'm a sad. melee basic. That. How much damage did Jim do last round, then? 16. 16 points of damage. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, melee basic, yeah. Yeah. He did use the bishop, though, so... And a challenging, so just zero. Uh, melee basic... Just do whichever weapon you're doing. Or yeah, just Excuse click me. on your hand weapon, it's also yeah. fine. Ah, oh, there it is. Sorry, we'll yeah. get there with the sheets. Character sheets is a little bit weird to use, but it's... Oh! Oh! Ooh. Uh, a did, hit, right? did you have a re-roll? Yes, I did, yeah. Us, yeah. Do you want to use it? Uh, yeah, we'll go for it. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll uh, basic the melee a bit. Oh. Come on, come on, Trout! You can do it. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. <laughs> so again, it kind of comes <laughs> in to try and hit you in the hit you in the, you in the body, but page. for some reason this fish comes out of bloody nowhere. <laughs> And again, just slaps him right across the forearm, knocking the axe just to the right of the where it's going to hit you. And the axe buries into the ground. And now it's Gunter. So these beastmen, although they look like they had gained a pretty, you know, they were doing pretty well for themselves, things seem to have turned against them. They didn't count as on, your... on trout and his slapping as... fish. <laughs> As Trout seems to know his way around that club. Crying out loud. <laughs> Again, you <laughs> try and stone another stone in it, but you're trying desperately not to hit your <laughs> companions. Watch out! <laughs> So the stone, again, wings just past the beastman as you're having to be that bit more careful to not hit them. <laughs> That's okay. The first hit was in. I got the first hit in the fight. It's okay if someone else gets the last one. Right. Trout, it's now you. Oh, finish him. Him. So don't forget, Trout, you've got another advantage after yep. successfully defending. Ben, a Showerdell just said, I need another 25 points before I can give you a reroll. <laughs> Stall. <laughs> so that, is that three advantage now? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Yes, because yeah. you defended twice and attacked okay. once. And challenging, yeah? Yes, challenging. I believe in you, Trouty. Oh. To be fair, Ben has got like three oh, rolls. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> it couldn't be worse roll. Okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, do you have However, any more rerolls? It doesn't matter. Look at the beastman's roll. Yeah, it no. does. It does. It's a critical it does matter. Oh, it's a critical failure. Yeah, anything over nine. Oh, someone right? has just given you a reroll. There you yeah. go. Ooh. One you trout. Think, uh, yeah. Well yeah, done. Thanks, Neil. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, a so critical like success. Plus six critical. successes and okay. a critical. So you hit it in the head. Please roll me oh, a d one hundred, Jim. A100 coming up. <laughs> He's done 13 points of damage with that hit. A 39. 39. So you bring down the bishop a... and clock this beastman right round the side of the head. It gains two stun conditions as the wind is just knocked clean out of it. And well, there's more. Where's that hiding? There it is. 
it manages to stay on its feet. However, it is swaying from side to side. How much damage did you do? Um, seven plus six. Um, six. That's 13. <laughs> okay. As it sways from side to side, your blow is still coming down and caves its skull in. There is an utter shower of gore as skull fragments and bits of brain just go absolutely everywhere and land all over yeah. Simon. <laughs> Somehow just that? going straight over everyone else and just hitting <laughs> Simon just completely. <laughs> uh, Sigbert. I'm going to take another swing at this uh, this beast man. See how we do. Woo. Where's my... Oh, my mask keeps disappearing. Oh, that's disconcerting. There we go. But... Oh. There's two successes. Oh, so it does not... So where did you hit it? Body. In the body. Okay, and how much damage do you do? Uh... So eleven, twelve. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And so righteous fire comes into your eyes as you're whispering the name of Sigma as you swing this hammer in. And this feels right. This feels like this is what the hammer wants you to do. You can I can I just say that I'm gonna Sigmar. I'm gonna hit it in the stomach and then with my forty five with my other side, I assume <laughs> I'm gonna hit as well. Although you do get I think you get to make another is it the same roll for the no new defending roll? So you get to make a new defending roll. I'm going for the the stomach with the first one, and then I'm going to try and hopefully go for something more. And that that would be three success levels on that one. Oh, okay. which makes I get, that I get eight. minus twenty to hit. So where did six you hit success the levels then? Uh, forty-five. So in so the body that's again. Body as well. So so percussion. You bring in the two hammers, either side of its midriff, and you just hear the cracking of bones as its body just impacts and then just gore drops to the ground like a sack of spaghetti bolognese See, the is gore it erupting outwards With all over right Simon, Simon. Ah! And right beside Simon so it just actually go through and up <laughs> it goes literally <laughs> everywhere other than at you and no. just all over Simon I was still pulling my shovel out you see uh and it's just like cannoned out the hole I made because he's just, hammered it on the sides it. and it's come out like a fountain of gore all over like me. Just, oh. just a wet splat as it hits the ground and then eerie silence. <laughs> <laughs> Other than the sound of weeping. <laughs> I think I've got it in my I'm mouth. Gonna... Is it in my mouth? Check. I'm going to make my way over to uh, Simon and try and heal him. Because I can use the heal skill, but I don't remember how that works exactly. It's a skill, so make me a heal roll. Can I help? Because I also have heal. We can do it together. I mean, you can watch him. Okay, I'm watching over each other. <laughs> You're going to be like, ah, oh, shit. <laughs> it depends what I roll, whether I say it's shit or not. I'm going to use a fortune point for that. <laughs> just because I like Pete. Because you uh, can actually hurt you know. me, can't you, with heal? Yes, you can. <laughs> Oh shit! Yes, he, he off. <laughs> shit into the wound. Are you sure that's good for him. cuts and abrasions? Ah. Oh, did you use another one? Oh, I just used a fortune point. Oh, no, that was Dan. Dan so. Yeah, Dan. Okay. Dan was, I'm not oh, letting. I'm not letting Albrecht. So if there's a priest Albrecht there, I'm not letting the bounty shoulder hunter go. touch me. <laughs> so the bounty <laughs> hunter is stood over uh, Sigbert's shoulder, going, "You don't want to do that." As Sigbert expertly. Patches up the wound. He's more used to inflicting them, but he's travelled enough uh, with a certain individuals that he's seen his fair share of combat and combat injuries. And he patches you up. Or I believe is it success level? Yeah, heal for? Maybe uh, heal works. If someone wants to look that up, I'll yeah, look it up because it's on me. So don't on. worry. I'll look it up. So Gunter, you look around and suddenly think. That crap, that trout guy, he really knows how to use that thing. You're glad you hired him. <laughs> they hired him for his boat. <laughs> Ulbrich, like, sheep's oh, sword and walks up the trout and goes, plus success levels. Nice job, Troutie. It's four success levels. 
plus. Still, okay, I'm glad well, the meat shield is here as well. Egil is in chat and says success levels plus intelligence yeah, yeah. bonus. Yeah, I just found that in the. Thank you, Egil. See, where this is, is so much easier when. What's Eggle's your intelligence like, score? Tell us. Yeah, where, where does that live? Uh, your it's intelligence main. It's in your characteristics. INT. So, main page. Oh, yeah, 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 INT. What's yeah, your intelligence? Initial 34. So, yeah, bonus three. is three. So, seven. So, you get seven, seven wounds. Cool. Back. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. For, for the touch of Sigmar upon me. I feel blessed. You're a brave fighter. Thank you. I'm going to go up to uh, the bounty hunter and whisper in his ear, uh, that, that Simon's a right kiss ass, isn't he? Oh, proper kiss ass. Did you see yeah. the way he cried as well? Yeah, I know. I see that. Yeah. Old, old Trouty definitely seen that. <laughs> oh, Trouty as well. You handled that club nicely. I'm sticking with you. Yeah, well, I, I just went into. Well, I had to use tomorrow's supper to to to, to block the first uh, uh, blow. But yeah, I'm really pissed off by that. So yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, Trout. I've never seen it done, but now I have. A trout used to deflect an axe. Nobody's going to believe it happened, but it happened. It did. It did. I'm going to um, misrecord the two beast men. We just got our four hundredth follower. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. At what point would you like to do the? Do you want to do it now, or do you want do to do it, it, do, it do it now? Do it now. 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 Do it up close with the knife. Okay, so someone in chat right now is going to win a twenty-dollar drive-through RPG gift certificate. If only I could get to the nightbot to do it without crashing my computer. Um, <laughs> nightbot just kicks everyone out of chat. <laughs> the nightbot just beats everyone now. Night uh, feel, nightbot's wrath. There are thirty-one it... th viewers. Well, four moderators. Apparently, one if I type in exclamation mark winner, it will select someone from the chat to win. As long as it's not one of us. Uh, and if it's up, one of us, then I, I'll keep doing it until we get someone that's. That's not, not a cast member. Not a cast member. Uh, hopefully this works. Bubble okay. Reg. <laughs> hey. Our... Hey. hey, it's selected a cast member. It's a cast member. Here we go. Try that again. <laughs> yeah. Yep. yep. Sorry, Let's try Leon. that again. Sorry, Leon. A shower down. Hey. Da, 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 da. Hey. Congratulations, Congratulations Asherado. You have won a $20 drive through RPG gift certificate for us getting to 400 followers oh, no. here on Twitch. <sighs> yeah. It's not the, quite the reaction I was expecting. Oh, no. From winning from drive through RPG. I hate oh, no. <laughs> I won fear. Oh, no. Why, oh, no, Asherado? Okay. Drive I don't through, know what that means. Drive through RPG, means. the website that sells a lot of role playing stuff. There's yes. a lot of PDFs. You can I did nothing. You follow, you've followed us to Sheridan, and, actually, Sheridan, and you've, you've been in the chat, the and you've been supporting us for a long chat. time. So, 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 so when uh, when we're not streaming, I would suggest checking checking out drivethroughrpg.com because you are going about to have twenty dollars to spend on there. But don't do it now. Watch yep. the stream first. So, uh, Sheridan, message me on Discord, uh, private message me on Discord, and I will we'll arrange your uh, twenty dollar drive through RPG gift certificate. So, thank you, everyone that follows yes, us. Thank you, everyone. Amazing. And I'm glad that Nightbot actually did something positive in the chat. <laughs> I'm now once. waiting for Nightbot to ban a Sharadel. <laughs> I thought I'd set it up, and I'm glad that for, it worked. For spamming, because so. Sharadel's yeah, talking yeah. about how yeah, yeah. happy. Oh, so God. I was waiting oh, for Nightbot Jim's, to win Jim's, the Jim's tempting fate. Okay, <laughs> right. right. So. Anyway, thank you, everyone. And it's been an awesome year, and it's been so fantastic to get to 400 followers. Uh, from April when we had to uh, change everything we were doing, leave the studio and shows like Flint and Steel, uh, you know, behind and figure out streaming and Roll20 and all these yeah. other things that we weren't doing. So it took us a little while to get going, but we're now uh, cooking on gas and we've got 400 followers and let's see what we can do in 2021. I, I should also say... For all of our fans are watching right now, and any Warhammer fans, we will have a Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay related announcement tomorrow 
on and our it's a big one. quiz show, I believe I'm allowed to talk about it tomorrow. Uh, I wanted That's to talk true. about it today because it would have been a very appropriate, but um, I think it will be tomorrow. And tomorrow it's we are doing... Bishop. Yes, yes, bigger than Jim's bishop. Uh, it's going to be awesome, and you guys are going to love it. And uh, there's some cool stuff for our viewers. Uh, if it happens, well, it's happening. It's just when I can announce it. So there's going to yeah, be some sure cool stuff. Yeah, yeah. 9 p.m. tomorrow, and I think we're renaming the show uh, Starter for D10 um, uh, after University Challenge. So we're going to have the Garblag, great Garblag gaming, Garblag quiz of gar blackness or whatever whatever the official title is <laughs> and uh, great gar black quiz off it's yes the great gar black quiz of the year and it's going to be um university challenge style with a starter for d10 points question which will be show related uh and then oh, don't tell us how it works that sounds like cheating that goes into a topic i want to wing it <laughs> okay fine i'll leave it i'll leave it for tomorrow everyone so come and join us bad college then are you <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm, oh, I'm gonna see if I can do something cool young for the overlay. Reference, young ones reference. Yeah, I'm, that, I'm afraid I'm a bit too young for that. Uh, yeah. You can punch up through the screen uh, <laughs> into the. Under I love that bit. Okay. Anyway, um, on with the show. Who? Sorry, Roger. Thank you for the slight right. sidetrack there. So while Sig while Sigbert and uh, Albert are patching up, uh, Simon, what do the rest of you want to do? Overwatch. I want to look around and see what I can see because if there were two of them, there might be more. Okay, and Trout, what are you doing while Gunter is looking around and the others are trying to patch up Simon? I'm um, I'm going to clean the bishop. <laughs> You'll polish at the end. And how I'm going to wipe it down. On um, the grass the mainly. Um, yeah, just uh, the foliage. Okay. Yeah, the foliage. Um, cleaning off on the fur of the beast, man. Yeah. Are you cleaning it on the beastman? No, we're not. We're not going to go chaotic. near that. I'm quite scared of that still. I, I, I killed it in fear, so. Um, <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Uh, at least, uh, at least, I didn't cry though. Okay, Gunter, <laughs> make me a perception test. Shouldn't be afraid to cry, Jim. <laughs> Emotion is not the enemy. <laughs> Chaos is the enemy. Hey, perception test. Yes. Uh, for Gunter. For Gunter. Yeah, Gunter's making perception. Oh. Tests. Oh. Okay, so you're Gunter just, is on fire tonight. So you're just looking yeah, around, wow. making sure no one else is coming. Is that what you're doing? Okay. Yep. Yeah, you're keeping an eye out. As far as you can tell, there's nothing out there. Right. So it's like night vision as well, which helps if it's dark. Or shrouded. It's not particularly dark. The only thing obscuring your vision are a lot of trees. Is uh, there anything of value on the beasts? Uh, you're searching the beastman? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, make me some kind of search the chaos perception. Courses. Touch the chaos. Let's go with perception. Okay, cool. cool. You know they're getting challenging better. or advantage because they're like average. Plus 20 because it's just kind of stationary. Cool. I'll try and look at this. It's not a great skill of mine. Oh, I make it. I'm okay. Marginal success. <laughs> so the beastmen, they don't, as you can imagine, they don't really carry a lot. They're just kind of wearing rags. Uh, there's a very vicious but very crude axe and a nose ring that looks like it's made of silver. So Albrick just like, ting, looks at it and goes, <laughs> yeah, pockets it. Okay, as you look at the nose ring, on the inside, there is a particular design. A what design, sorry? It's a kind of eight-spoked wheel. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, no, I throw that at Sigbert then and go, deal with that. <laughs> <laughs> I make no reaction. It just goes, bing! <laughs> After I'm looking at it, like, we don't touch things that come from the taint of chaos. Maybe we should burn it. Burn what? I mean, hopefully we don't touch things that come from the taint of anything. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from, you know, when the uh, cows are carving, you know, got to get them out. You know that's 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 okay. Winter, make me a intelligent an intelligence test, please. Ooh, that's just oh no, that's int, not i. Just int, straight int. Gunter is quite clever, as luck would have it. 
you remember back in Nolm, you fought you fought Beastmen before, and they had nose rings. In Nolm, where we first met the sense of be no problem. And if you remember, the nose ring that you found had a particular design on it. Yeah, it had an eight-pointed star on it, just like mm. this one. They were Minotaur beast men, weren't they, in Null? It was, was I think it, it was a goat-headed beast. These, was it goat? Yeah. These two I, are, these two particular ones are deer. Deer-headed. We've seen this before. We've had this in Nome. Mr. Seuss, do these Nome. guys like eating a lot of meat? Yeah. Uh, Law Reichland. Oh, yeah, I got that. Or got Law that yeah, anyone who's got Law Reichland, Law Reichland can roll on that. Can I do Law Local? Yep, that's fine. Reichland or Theology, which works that. better? Reichland. Theology would be knowing about the gods. Okie dokie. So what anyone with any team? kind of law, local, law, right. Impressive and... failure. I can only fight and heal. That's all I can do. <laughs> I Just know my right. I'm happy with both of those things. Nope. <laughs> Reroll for Ben. Okay, Gunter. You know that beastmen often eat what they kill. So they are... Meat is generally their diet. You've never heard of one, although it might be true, eating vegetation. You're pretty sure they eat predominantly meat. Yeah, no, you're not wrong, Albrecht. It looks like the meats, certainly the cheaper meat, is going to be more for the beast men. They usually only eat what they kill. But if you want to stop them going out and killing stuff, you're going to have to keep them fed. So likely it is. And We're fresh meat would be the way these. to do that. So we're looking at more of these lads um, indoors, possibly. Sigmar will protect us. As I said, I so. we'll be dealing with the taint of chaos. Yeah. Yeah, but if we're dealing with it, let's go and deal with it, because this just became less of an issue of kicking the shit out of a San Savino and more of an issue of looking after the local area. Why not both? Yeah, well, I don't think it's fair to leave... Beast men and chaos cultists behind us. We need to go and give someone a damn good shoeing. I'm all for it. I live in these parts, know some of these people. Yeah, and they don't need this crap on their doorstep. Secrets from around here is mum and dad. Yeah. Yeah, Simon. My whole family. Do you reckon you could light one of those fancy fires you like lighting? Let's wait till we get inside, eh? That's what I mean. Let's burn it to the ground. He's not the only well one with experience of that kind of burn. thing. Albrecht starts like preparing his crossbow and checking everything. It's like, this you, guy. Are, you, are you heading off at this point? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna I'm gonna um be alternating between prayers of protection and, and prayers of righteousness as we're walking. Oh, no. Prayers of battle? Yeah, prayers of battle and prayers of protection as we're walking. Dan, make me a perception test. Perception test. I'm a lot more alert this time. I'm not, not just diving off this time. Uh, it's plus 20. Merry Christmas, everyone. I just uh, I just uh, gifted five subs in chat. Oh, dear. Minus three success levels. I, okay. I've not rolled a single success tonight. It's not me. <laughs> Never mind. No. Cool. I don't think I have any rerolls either, so I'll just go marching on, but cautiously, my crossbow. Okay, um, can I have minus 20 perception tests from everybody else? So Kev, Ben, Pete, Jim, minus 20 perception. Oh, blimey. I, I'm praying. Can I have a minus 30? <laughs> Dan just got a reroll. Sure, I ask because I'm going to do a pray roll. So like that's actually something that I'm doing, which would definitely make me less concentrating. Oh, I'm re-rolling that bad boy. Hey. So Minus. I'm I'm cycling between these two prayers oh. as we go in case we get ambushed again. So it's like I mean I'll battle. fail, but I'm not gonna critically fail that badly. Uh, Holy cats. Uh, where's my perception? Oh, Jim, perception, awesome. That's better. I didn't fail on my re-roll, I succeeded. So I've got minus thirty, because I'm doing stuff. Okay, yeah. And um, what were you doing? Oof. 
what were you doing on your prey? I'm, I, as we're walking, I'm alternating between a prayer of battle and a prayer of protection. So okay. it can be whichever one we get to actually fight, but it is in case okay. we get ambushed. I don't know if we're going to, but I'm kind of doing a litany, basically. Okay. Um, as you're all walking along, you all kind of notice, and this has kind of put you off a little bit, Dan, as you're walking through the forest. Sigba actually does glow slightly. He's muttering under his breath what clearly sounds like a prayer, but he does slightly glow. Uh, you know, um, make the sign of the Twin Tail Comet. <laughs> uh, and, and as you're going along, Trout, you're, you're relatively near the front. You kind of look down and you see yeah. tracks. <sighs> There's tracks here. This is where you spot them, Gunther. You see them. They've clearly come from the beastmen, and they are heading straight where you're heading. Yep, there is indeed, and they are coming from where we started. Where we're going. They're at the manor. No surprises there. Yeah, but see, but in your brother in there. He won't be for long, one way or another. True. We'll kill them or they'll kill him. Either way, we're going to do what we can. Right? Okay. Okay. Just quickly, thank you to Non Anomaly for the bits and the cheer. Thank you very much. So you move through the forest towards the manor. You're not far now. You, the trees are beginning to thin. Are you just approaching the manor? Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, talk to Gunter as we're as we're approaching and interrupt my little litany to myself briefly and go through the front door. Or do you have another plan in mind? We can always split up. Let's face it, we're not going in the front door, are they? We're not going to let you in. Maybe, uh, maybe the the halfling could uh, distract at the front door with 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 with, with talk. Uh, and uh, you three could bash in the back door, and I, I could back up the half thing. Do, does Simon know anything about the layout of this place? I've never been inside. Not inside, but like, do you know that there are there side doors? Like, it's manor. Is there like a gate? Oh, gate yeah, yeah. There's a back door. You always bash the yeah. bishop right through the back door. <laughs> What do you think, Gunter? I think they know me, and front door is not the best life choice. Well, I can there, always go to the get... front door and exercise some nobility. <laughs> to to uh, what end? Is are there, you there, going a, to are there windows on the outside that we could like sneak in? Yeah, Roger, when we look, as we get the... closer. The, the win as you get closer, you can see windows, but they're higher up. Okay. You couldn't look through them. We could potentially throw a rope up and climb up if we. But we what, need what to does cause... it look like? Is it I tell just you what, I'll go and set a fire, it? right? I'll go and set a fire and distract them. If I go over that side of the building and set that side of the building on fire, that'll distract them, and you guys go in through that He's side not of wrong. the building. Do it. Yeah. They're a stable. Yeah. Uh, there is a wooden outbuilding. You're not sure what it that's, is from That's here, going up. Man, that's going it. up. Uh, right, okay. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, 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 when you see the fire, that's the signal. Yeah, we got that. Okay. Mr. Seuss, would you like me to sit outside and shoot them as they come out? Or do you want me in with you? That's a good idea, actually. So as they go to put out the fire... Are I'll you better at shooting? Uh, I'm pretty handy with my crossbow. So when they come out, it goes off. <laughs> <laughs> Take out the one that looks no, like he's in charge. Give it a second. Let a few of them come out. Kill the one that looks like he's telling everyone else what to do. Usually we'll the one the that's doing door. the most shouting. We'll go in the back door and fuck them up on the inside. We can do that. <laughs> Don't forget if to come around and posh, meet us up later. Him. Yeah, you might want to follow us around after. Okay, so Simon's going to towards the outbuilding. Yep. With the intent of setting it on fire. Are the rest yep. of you all going around the back, apart from yep. Dan, who is sitting ready with the crossbow? I think Dan's sitting around the front. 
behind something where he can snipe at people can come out to put out the fire. Are you just going to walk up to the plan? Can shoot the Fimir as they come out. <laughs> Stop reading my notes. <laughs> he spiced it up. There's Beastmen instead of Fimir. Uh, One-eyed so, green Beastmen with long tails. Are you just going to swan up to the outbuilding? Uh, for Peter, Peter, I'm please. sneaking up. I'm still, you know, I'm, okay. I'm stealthing it Stealth up. roll. Um, hmm. Uh, okay. Uh, what, uh, could, could I use outdoor survival? Oh, I tell you what. Could I use trade farmer? Because as a farmer, many times I've had to approach an outbuilding without startling an animal inside. Uh, you know, often, me. often there are. Oh, hello! We've had a bit of a switch around on screen. Screen so. jump. Dan's um, internet went wiggly. Yeah. Um, can I Dan can I muted. use uh, trade farmer to sneak up on the on the farming outbuilding? Yes. Why not? I should have used outdoor survival as best skill. <laughs> What's the difficulty? Um, uh, challenging. Oh, oh dear. Because you're using trade farmer. <laughs> That's fine. It's fine. Farming bear. Oh my god! Uh, I think I might need to do a re-roll. I'm not sure if I've got a re-roll. Um, Audition for re-rolls, Pete. I think so. So I've got. A, I've got. I've got like a. I think um, you've been given two. Have you used any? I've used one. Use one. So I think you've still got one. Okay. I, I'm. I'm going to re-roll that. Don't like a ninety-nine. That is a ninety-nine. That is a ninety-nine. It's got a flake in it. Um, here we go. Come on. Okay, at least that's not a critical failure. I've got lamp oil in one hand, uh, and I'm I'm I've got uh, in my pocket. I've got my flint and steel, uh, but I've got my um, I've got my battle shovel in the other. Sorry, hand. what was the second thing you had? My flint and steel. <laughs> I can't oh, shout too loud. I can't shout too loud with this microphone. <laughs> um, okay. Let's see. I could get shot and die. Can I? Can I? Ah! Okay. <laughs> no, you, 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 as far as you can tell, you make it there without being seen. Excellent. Right. Um, I, as I approach it, what's what's can I get a can I get a sniff or a look, you know, or hear anything it that's going smells, on? In... It smells like animal in there. Okay, cool. Um, so it's going to be some straw. I assume there's going to be loads of straw. So I'm going to cover all the straw. I'm going to chuck the oil in through the open door and over the wood, and I'm going to like strike the flint and steel, and um. And then run, <laughs> run to the yes, nearest like so... tree. Okay, no question. Outdoor survival. You've got a bow as well, so you too could snipe. Yeah, no, that's why I, I, I'm going to shoot people who come out and st after they've almost put the fire out, I'm going to shoot them. Right, outdoor survival. What difficulty is this? Uh, plus twenty. Okay. In fact, no, plus forty. <sighs> You're using lamp oil and straw. This is going to be pretty easy. Yeah. Okay. He says. There's quite a lot of manure in there too. It's pretty there is a oh, lot yeah, of yeah. Food. It's gonna explode. <laughs> oh, no. it's, it's, it's like to open the door and the methane just uh here we go. If you kind of got strong oh, no. oh. <laughs> marginal failure. Okay, oh, so you I'm do rubbish. set a fire. It's at the moment it's quite small. That's fine. That's okay actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna go and then run off uh to the a nearby tree where i can uh get get my bow and arrow out and ready okay make me an athletics test <laughs> athletics test my best skill comes to hand finally here we go i'm gonna oh, fail this miserably fun. what difficulty uh this one is challenging zero okay here we go What's going to happen? I'm going to fall over in the mouth. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, only just failed. 
Oh no, minus three. Oh yeah, minus three success levels. Sorry, I was reading that <laughs> <Yeah>. wrong. <laughs> I was reading that wrong. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yep. Okay. So as you bolt for the tree line, you hear a shout. Oi, what are you doing, you little shit? Coming out of the building. You don't see where it came from. You just hear it. Uh, I do believe I'm setting your house on fire, I shall say, as I run off towards the tree line. <laughs> Make me an outdoor survival roll. <laughs> okay. Difficulty? Uh, flat, challenging. Oh, do it, be do it now. Do Sorry, it. My computer's just being slow. Yay! Yay! Success! Okay. Oh, I got a reroll there. Thanks, Egil. You, you actually <laughs> managed to duck into the trees. You think mm -hmm. you've managed to hide yourself quite well. Okay, cool. The front door opens as the barn begins to burn. It was quite slow initially, but there is smoke rising now. You can't really see a lot from the outside, so it doesn't look very impressive. Is it like there's... 45 minutes later? <laughs> <laughs> And two guards step out. These are, they're human. Uh, they are wearing chainmail. And they have bucklers bouncing off their hips as they run towards the outbuilding. Gonna steal me some armor once I've killed them. <laughs> don't, yeah. poke, don't poke too many holes in it then. Can we, okay. at some point before the shit hits the fan, take a break? Because I really need to charge my phone. I think that's probably a good point. So good idea. Take a very quick break. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, right, You're everybody, right. we we'll should right be back. back. In about five to ten minutes. Five to ten minutes. Don't go anywhere. We're running a little bit later tonight because it's a flint and steel one shot and it's Christmas. Uh, <laughs> so see you very soon. And we're back. Thank you very much for sticking around. Um, thanks for the brief break. We are real people and we do have needs such as beverages and facility breaks. Um, so we left off with a couple of uh, guards running out of the manor to investigate this fire and this lunatic running away from them who has now disappeared into the trees. That's me. So you see the two guards, they approach the outbuilding and be like, what the fuck, what, does, what was that little shit doing? Oh, Millie's right, face is in wrong places. I'm sorting oh. out, don't worry. That was my bad, sorry. Yeah. Damn it, Dan, one job. Fuck I know. Minus no. one fake point, if you had one. <laughs> Which means you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> okay, For some reason, when my wife turned everything off, it made the internet worse. Oh, here we go. Weird. Blame okay. his wife. Typical. Well, I'll tell Mel you said that. Please do. Um, so, so you he see the two watching critical role. Yeah. So you see the two guards. They run up to the building. What the little fucking tow rag? You find him. Um, one of them starts running back towards the house, and one of them starts running in the rough direction that Simon ran. Um. So the one running back towards the house. You said he's wearing chainmail. Is it just covering his body? Um, it's a little bit hard to tell because he's got a really, really flouncy shirt on. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Sigbert and Gunther, if you could see this, it would remind you of the sort of thing Hartwin would wear. <laughs> um, oh. But is there anything sort of that on his man. head? Uh, yes. Um, he, he does have a very flouncy hat with a massive feather in it. <laughs> Uh, what about his legs and arms? I guess, and they're all. Again, it's hard to tell. I mean, there is a lot. There are some enormous pantaloons. Shoot him in the everything. Is it Hartman? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. I hope it's not fucking Hartman. He, he's going to shoot an arrow through your eye in a second. <laughs> there he is. He's going to try to with one arrow. Now that would be a twist. Yeah. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to unleash a bolt, but towards the guy running back towards the board because I don't want him to go back into the building. Because the whole point was we're going to distract him and put him away from the building. And I figure Simon, you know, either going to cry or shoot him by himself at some point. Okay, you don't. So, oh, um, well, I, I think you're part So, that would be a ranged uh, ranged crossbow. Yep. 
mm -hmm. skill. And this is unopposed because he doesn't even know you're there. No, it's still failing. Oh, it's critical what? failure. I'd, yeah. I'd re-roll that if I were you. Do you have I any re-rolls? I don't have any. Well, I have, not that you, I've been told that I have you any. Got, you got one recently, I think. You got Did one. I? There's one said for the bounty hunter. Yeah. yeah. Jnov36 okay. gave Jnov. one to the bounty hunter. Hey, do you Thank want to you. use it or shall I get the oops table? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> no I'll take <gasps> that. Oh, oh critical hit. That. <laughs> Best of all critical hits. Thank you, Jnov. Thank you, we pointed it in chat earlier on, but a critical is a double. So if you roll double, so two ones, 11. Uh, if it's so a success, 11, then it's a all the way critical to success. If you rolled a 99, then that's critical failure. So. Unless you're really, really skilled. Unless you're really, really good. Okay, Dan, would you roll me a D100, please? Sure, why not? Oh, man. Take four. You're not very good right, at those critical so... rolls. You you cross, you see him. You line up the shot, and you go. I I like to shoot people in the back. It makes my job easier. <laughs> and you pull the mechanism. The bolt flies towards him, between the hitting him square between the shoulder blades. The guy reels in pain from this. And great, lots of clicking. He did 13 points of damage to him as well. He drops. I mean, he goes down like a footballer who wants a penalty. <laughs> he just drops Not to the ground, <laughs> holding his knee for some reason. <laughs> screaming. He used to be an adventurer until he got an arrow and shoulder blades. Brilliant. Absolutely screaming Brilliant. in pain. He doesn't, he doesn't look like he knows where he is right now. You could describe him as stunned. Ah. <laughs> And stunned means he's incapable of taking an action in his turn. And you don't think he's going to be going anywhere particularly quickly for a short while. <laughs> um, <laughs> roll initiative. Uh, both Pete and Dan. In fact, everyone roll initiative. Just in case. Just, you know, in case something happens. <laughs> I like oh, I like thirty three. That's what I always roll thirty three. I rolled a thirty again. Oh, I think it does it where you just this must. Oh, it's your initiative. Ah, oh, sod it. We'll just use that. Please. Just your change, initiative. I'm not changing it now. So it will be you lot will be the same. Uh, so no, you, you can change it in your options to one d ten plus initiative, one d ten plus initiative bonus and agility. Bonus. Yeah, it's too much effort to do that one. <laughs> so we'll leave that for the moment. That's, not, that's, that's literally just my initiative. I haven't done it. You have to click on the I. No, yeah, not your initiative skill uh, stat in combat no, under it's, control. It's, it's, fine, it's fine. It's yeah, fine. Yeah, I clicked the initiative oh, right. button, but it's literally just given. No, don't worry. We'll just use flat initiatives for now. I'm not going to worry about changing uh, it now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if I'm happy press, to go with that because I'd rather the, not use 84. If you press the little cog next don't to worry advances, about it. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. In there, you can change it to it's fine. from initiative default to anything it's else. It's fine. <laughs> I'm only saying that because that means I go last every time. Albrick, uh, you've got another reroll. We could just roll the Yes, thank you for the reroll. That's too much effort. Right. <laughs> Let's so that happens. Uh, <laughs> that happens. The, the other guard he was running straight to where straight towards roughly where you are, Simon. Mm -hmm. He turns around. Because he's just heard his friends scream. Are they friends? Are they really friends? Well, I mean, are they, they're probably more of acquaintances, aren't they? Oh, well, to you, they might be. His eyes, are look, his eyes are looking absolutely everywhere. He has no idea where that uh, shot came from. He is panicking. He's going to get an arrow in the back then. Okay. Uh, Sigbert. <laughs> How far oh, away am I from all this? Because we were around the front, weren't we? The other image was making my head look tiny. <laughs> um, you are around the back. But, around the back, really, yeah. Um, where you are, you have just heard screaming. Okay. Uh, so go, sign. If the plan was to, yeah, we didn't, we didn't see flames, but we heard screaming. I'm going to go up to whatever our door is and try and open it. See if it's open. 
Do I need to unlock it? Uh, it doesn't open. Yes! Finally! I get to use it! Use the fiery lockpick of Sigma. <laughs> I mean... Let's I try was gonna, I was going to ignite first. my warhammers, but <laughs> I want the, the guy like right inside. Trying, the, trying to open the door is an incidental. You can have an action if you want one. <laughs> can I try and pick the lock? It's Kev's, Kev up at the moment. Okay. <laughs> I mean, if there was guys within where I could see them that I was going to fight them, I would ignite my warhammers it, and wait for... It's a door. Yeah. Don't That's why it's me. weird being in a combat round for the door. <laughs> Otherwise, I would just go, Gunter? <laughs> You know, Gunter's you can do got the highest that, initiative. Right. He does, but where we entered, I'm just. Oh, okay. Right, okay, sorry. Sorry. Right. But, I mean, you can just. Yeah, I'll say Gunter, Gunter after you if you want. Okie doke. So that's what you're doing. Um, Simon. So the guy, can I see the guy who's like looking all around and a bit distracted? Yeah. He's, okay. I'd say he's probably about 50 yards ahead of you. My range is 50 yards. Oh, Look at right. that. So no, that no, no penalty. Okay, I'm going to shoot him. I'm, uh, you know, I only use this bow occasionally on the on the edges of the fields. Um, don't worry, I'm not about to ask you to trade farming to shoot him with my bow. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> uh, that would be do I get a bonus because he's unaware, or do I? Yes, he's stationary and unaware. Uh, okay, so plus. So 20. you will get a plus twenty. It would have been easier for you, Dan, but he was running. That's fine. So it kind of counterbalanced. It's fine. I, I hit a moving target in the back. I'm happy with that. <laughs> that was vicious. Here we go. Let's have a look. Oh! Ooh, yes. Okay. Five success levels. So 11 points of damage to the left leg. Ain't got to any chainmail on that left leg, is he? In the knee. I mean, you can't really tell, to be honest. Mm -hmm. What's the matter? Did someone steal your sweet roll? <laughs> So 11, you say. Arrow to the knee. You won't be doing any more adventuring. Okie dokie. <clears throat> so, yes, that was... In a, his shovel that, knee. That was certainly a thing that happened. Uh, <laughs> <been> <laughs> <my shoveling knee? laughs> that was certainly a thing that happened. <laughs> Sorry. Gunter, it's you. How difficult is this lock going to be to pick? Do you have any kind of related lock picking skill? I have the pick lock skill. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> this, I would say, this is an average lock. As every good lawyer does. <laughs> skill. I mean, I've never used it before, as you can tell. But I do have all the re rolls, so yeah, I'm do. going to use one of them. Yes. <laughs> hey. Okay, so you go to put it in and you're about to jiggle it around and then you go no that one goes that way that one now i remember <laughs> what... <laughs> the lock opens and i shall open the door and wave Sigma in after you my lord i'll, I'll wait till my turn i guess to yeah in. so as you open the door, you don't see anyone in there. Uh, Trout. Yeah. Uh, no. Do you want to do you want to hold? Let Sigbert go in first, or do you want to jump in? No, I'll let Sigbert go in first. Okay. <laughs> so uh, now it is them. Okay. So the guard on the floor. <laughs> Can you use to scream? He continues to scream. Nice. He doesn't really know what's going on. He's just screaming with an arrow still, or a bolt, sorry, still lodged between his shoulder blades. The other guard. Spins around and oh, starts God. pulling out, pulls out his, a buckler and a sword and starts running straight at Simon. Oh, God. He's only running, but, you know, slightly limping because he's got an arrow in his Yeah, head. yeah, absolutely. It's poke, the he, arrowhead's poking out the front of his knee. He does, but he looks like he knows what he's doing. <sighs> he's got a buckler. Okay, that was them. Um, Sigbert. Okay, so before I step in, I'm going to try and invoke a miracle of Sigmar. <laughs> 
I'm going to try and ignite, <laughs> ignite my war hammers. So I'm going to um, pray to Sigmar, and I strike the two hammers together. Oh, See cool. If something happens. Ah. Pray roll. Let's do it. That fifth is shut off. <laughs> <laughs> the really good hammer the breaks the crap hammer. Like the other hammer. one. Really, or if even you're still worse. there, the take round. a note, because that has to go in the 80s cartoon game. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Banging two hammers together to activate them. Now, I have three more fortune points, so I'm going to use one of those. <laughs> I kind of want this to not be uh, anticlimactic, if I can avoid it. But What's we'll the see. difficulty, Roger? Uh, it's a standard prey it's, it's, it's challenge. It's prey rolls. Oh, it's, okay. It's challenging, yeah. Come on. Way! Hey! Okay, describe what what happens. Um, so I pray to Sigmar. I don't know any actual prayers. Yeah, that's fine. But I pray to Sigmar, and then at the end of it, I just go, and hit the two Warhammers together, and they ignite. Um, just erupt into flame. I, I actually don't know. It just says you yeah, chant predictions to Sigmar's might. If what wielding a Warhammer, it counts as magical. It doesn't yeah. say. Oh, it's a magical effect. One isn't it? of it's your gonna Warhammer be like on fire. Okay, which Warhammer would you like to count as magical? I was wondering. It it is only one, right? Yes. It says if wielding a Warhammer, it counts as magical. <laughs> one of which one That's would some you Simon like? Simon logic, right? I'll, one I'll do the dwarven one. I'll do the on hand, obviously. Is have, there. have you read the description? And the properties. Yeah, that it count, counts as magical. I, I know, but it's it's still uh, if I hit them, they count. They get knocked prone. Apply it oh, I see. One. Okay. So then I can hit it more, more easily. So with it, the it doesn't one. just mean they count as magical. It also means no. It also sets them on fire and does my uh, okay. fellowship That's... bonus damage. Gives them I an ablaze okay. condition. So your your magical warhammer ignites. Yeah. And, has and fire the, the symbol the symbol it. of Sigmar looks like like this All carbon of magma. There's All like of the bits that are gold fire. on the hammer, so yeah. like the twin-tailed comet and the writing, looks like it's on fire, but the rest of it doesn't. Interesting. Mm. Uh, including the twin-tailed comet, which is gold, so it is on fire, trailing the hammer. Cool. So that was your action. Did you want and to then move I, And then I'm going to walk forward into the, into the gloom. Okay, as you walk in, it's a kitchen. <laughs> There's no one in here. It's just a kitchen with all of the assorted Ooh. kitchen paraphernalia one would expect. Fine. And you just kind of stroll through. Can you make me a perception test, please, Sigbert? Yes. Uh, challenging. Challenging. <sighs> Three clicks. It is a lot of clicks. Nope. Oh. Okay, okay. It's all quiet in here. You bang your head on the low door. You can't Jared. hear anyone in the building. <laughs> I'm guessing uh, they're going to be in the cellar. Albrecht. Or the attic. So I'm assuming the other guy who's running towards um, my good friend Simon is not aware of my presence. He is, but you do need to reload. Oh, is that a thing, is it? Mm -hmm. It is for crossbows. Is crossbows? For how, some how... reason, it's supposed to be a test, but I'm ignoring that. It just takes yeah. you around. I think well, the you need test one is... test, one success level to do it. And how close? Have... How close is he right now? Well, to you, the guy running. Yeah. Probably about forty yards. So not close enough for me to run and charge him. Yeah, I mean, you could run at him, but you wouldn't be able to get to him. Okay. No. Then I'm going to reload. Okie dokie. That makes sense. Uh, next up it is Simon. So he's running at me. He is running straight at you. Well, then it's going to be easier to hit, isn't he? I assume. <laughs> In theory. Uh, remember, you. Oh, uh, Simon, you do have advantage because you did shoot him successfully oh, last did, turn. Yeah. Dan, yours did drop off, unfortunately, because you have to spend a turn reloading. Okay, so I am going to, like, overly dramatically lick the 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 <laughs> the feathers, Kevin dagger, Kevin Costner on, style, on the arrow, and like <laughs> almost like I'm pulling it back in slow mo and. Someone standing next to me would be like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, yeah. And Albrick is doing that while he's reloading his crossbow. He's like, what are you doing? As he runs towards me, I'm like, Look, release. Ranged bow roll, please. Oh, yeah. And the camera follows the arrow behind, right? <laughs> What's the difficulty? It's uh, challenging. Okay. It's it depends attack. how many of the lyrics to Everything I Do do you know the words to. Search your heart. Remember, search your soul. 
And when you find me there, you're so much no more. Singing. It works. Singing works for success. Singing We've always proved works. it time and again. Okay. What's your what's your ranged combat, please? What's uh, your total? Does he get to block me? He is carrying a shield. Oh, okay. Sorry, I didn't realise he had a shield. Uh, my, His little buckler uh, shield. My ranged skill is rubbish. It's 33. Ah. Um, you fire, and it is bang on target. However, he very nimbly brings up a buckler and deflects the arrow. Oh. Get it in more of the lyrics. Oh. Bastard. Gunter. I am going to use insight to build up advantage. You know it's true. And you're staying outside? Not insight, intuition. No, I'm going to move in and use intuition to sort of get a feel for the building. Okay, make me a perception test, please. Challenging. Nope. Okay, yeah, as far as you can tell, the building's empty. Can I make the insight check as well, though? Uh, Intuition check. What are you trying to intuit? You can use intuition to build up advantage. As you kind of gauge the combat and see what's going on, you're like... You get a feel for feel the lay for of it. land and the position of people and stuff like that. So I, I want to use it to get like a sense of the building. It's like prey. You can do it with prey I'd, as well. I'd say in this priest. instance, no, because there's no, no combat around you. Okay. Fair. I do have a cute taste. Does that help? <laughs> you lick things you, in the kitchen. If you want to start licking the food. If you can uh, taste it on the air. Awful, awful. Yes. So Trout, you're up. Right. I'm following Siegfried in, basically, so... Siegfried, okay. Uh, can you make me a perception test, please? Yes, yeah, if you call him Siegfried, he has to get a free tiger. <laughs> the boy Frank Alroy? Yes. <laughs> uh, perception. I believe in you, Trout. Is it um, just the challenging one, yeah? Yes. <laughs> wow. wow. Like Look at that. Hero. Where is it okay. all coming from? Hey, you that hear fish, noises man. from under your feet. <sighs> Not directly, but below you. Somewhere there are there are people below you. Oh. We've got people below us, boys. You These sorts right, of vermin people. always live in the depths. And with that. Just outside the other door in front of you, you can kind of see just off to the side is a stairwell. Yeah, we'll go charging down there. You're going to run that way? Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so it's the guards. So the guard continues to run straight at you, Simon. Okay. Is he closing yeah. on me? He is closing. You reckon... In a, in a few seconds, he will be upon you, but not quite. Oh. And the other one. Battle shovel it is, then. <laughs> so many clicks. It's hard to say it's a poor man's fish. He's still screaming. He hasn't just died yet. <laughs> okay, uh, now back to... Oh no, now it's uh, Alberic. Aha! I'm going to shoot the guy that's running at my dear friend Simon, or at least a make a fine. That guy you met in the pub that one time. Yeah. Okay, a, <laughs> a flat ranged crossbow attack, please. He doesn't know you're there. Oh! oh! <laughs> You ben just got a rima. lucky bastard. Do you want a D100? I'm just think <laughs> like all of your like... employers are there to see it. I would like 73. 73. Oh, nice. It's going to be a bit better. Okay. Oh. Again. Oh, girl's dishing out the rerolls. So Again, you're loving so it. Have this... you got one, I got one. This guy ooh, is ooh. running away from you. Uh, this is your favoured angle. You are absolutely <laughs> loving this. All it's this shooting bad. people in the back. This feels heroic. 
<laughs> I've learned from the best, Roger. He heroically <laughs> shot him in the back. Dan, I'm so you proud of you, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> so as your crossbow bolt goes tearing into his arm. It's only a pity he's awake. Pete, as it you hits, re-roll. you've hit something important in there. Blood, fountains out of it. And just through sheer luck, it just goes all over Simon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the guy suddenly just blood starts coming out everywhere and thanks Egil and good night thank you love the idea thanks, that you Egil. shot him in the armpit and as he spun around dying he sprayed blood all over Pete's character it staggers him I mean he just he stops I mean he just kind of stumbles to the side oh Battle shot and to the neck. Just, uh, just drops to the floor, and suddenly all noise from him just stops. Just give myself a nice yes. Uh, uh, just go. S- you right over there, Simon? Simon, you're going. He's still alive. <laughs> Whack. <laughs> okay. Have you ever fired a crossbow in the air and gone, ah? Uh, are you just hitting him in the head? <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to whack him with the battle shovel. I know he's dead, but I'm, I'm, okay. I'm like, he's still he alive! Actually, and I'm just like, whack him. He wasn't actually dead. Oh, he okay. Was right. unconscious. Okay. However, he is now very much dead. <laughs> okay. He was prone and his, he was on the floor face down and you cave in his skull. Now, can just... I do a shovel? Can I do a proper shovel? <laughs> on his neck. On his neck. <laughs> Firmed kill. <laughs> To remove his head. <laughs> you do that, and it kind of severs half his neck. It doesn't go through cleanly because oh, it just doesn't work like that. Don't sharpen bone. it enough. It just tears straight through one half of his neck and just fountains your legs with more blood. Oh. Oh. What's he got? He's got a sword and a buckler or something. Is he... He, has quite take his... fancy... he has quite a fancy looking sword and a buckler. I'm not too worried about the sword because my battle shovel seems to be doing well. So I'm going to uh, grab his buckler, though. Cool. You grab his buckler. <laughs> Gunter. I'm not sure if um, you use it. I am going to Please. follow Trout. Okay, you start bolting, bolting for the stairs. Make me a perception test. <laughs> this time plus 20 because you know what you're listening out for. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> a plowy. Okay, Pretty typical. You, you can't quite tell what's going on down there, but one of the voices you're pretty sure, because you've heard a lot of them in Nolm, is Tillian. <sighs> Who's Tillian? Sansevino. Sansevino. <laughs> that fucker owes me a finger. And you're basically at the top of the stairs at this point. Um, I'm assuming you're not running as fast as you literally can to go down there. Or do you want to do that? I'm staying behind the meat shield. Oh, drought. Probably wise. Drought shield. <laughs> uh, speaking <laughs> of... The fish trout. shield. You're up, trout. Okay. I want to carry on running down the stairs. Okay. You just bolt down to the bottom of the stairs. There's a door in front of you that you just kick as you get down there. It flings open and you walk in and you appear in the room. Okay. In front of you is a very finely dressed gentleman wearing a long red coat of very fine cut silk with a kind of silver trim. Tied to a chair is a man with a bag over his head. And flanking them are two guards that look very much like the ones I described earlier. So very flouncy clothes wearing, there's some armour there, you can tell, but you can't quite tell exactly what it's covering. Yep. Each holding a buckler and a sword and looking straight at you. Okay. Sig- uh, bash in time. I'm, I'm gonna, going to also go down. I'm going to run at the one with the uh, red coat on. Yeah, you got as far as you could from where you were. So me? Just, Yep, so you I'm, super. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the guys down the stairs and as I'm going, I'm going to do a blessing of protection on trout. Hopefully. Roll me a pray test. We're gonna start praying. 
Hammer still going. Oh, MC Hammer is up his, in is his place. brother's name's Richard, so we can call him Bag Rick. <laughs> <laughs> that is a success. Okay. So, uh, any enemies? Well, um, uh, warm glow would feel like internal warm glow for Trout, and like a, a slight bubble kind of appears around him. Not, not like a glowy <laughs> bubble. <laughs> okay. Around his head, like feel, a fishbowl. Feel... Anyone who tries to attack him will feel a deep seated shame Trout, and have to make feel... a wisdom, an average wisdom saving throw to that uh... feel that Sigmar is with you. Yeah, I'll, I'll have a feel around my groin. Just make sure I haven't pissed myself. <laughs> <laughs> warm glow. Okay. <laughs> it does pay to check. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first Sniff time. My fingers <laughs> afterwards as well. <laughs> oh, brick. Big Bar is with you. You've pissed yourself. I'm yeah. gonna um, walk over to the, to the to the body and and pull my bolt out. And it, is this sword? You said it looked fancy. Uh, which one? The, the, one, the that, one. The one. The one that Simon I... just brutally cut his head off. <laughs> yeah, the one that just brutally. Did. Okay. Yeah. You you recover your bolt. Yeah. Um. Did you say he had a fancy looking sword? Yes, it's a very nice looking sword. Nicer than my sword, I would assume then. Yours is, let's be honest, it's a pretty cheap one. I mean, it's a sword and it does <laughs> what it does, but it's. I'm just going to go exactly look at my sword and go, nope, and pick up his sword and tie remember. And now I'm going to loot his chainmail and tell okay, Simon. That is, that is That'll take you a while. Well. That's fine. I'm going to tell Simon <laughs> to go finish off the other guy by the door that's still screaming on the floor. I'm already, I'm right. already like running over with battle spade <laughs> and buckler in hand. Speaking of. Simon. I'm going to step over the screaming dude and shovel that mofo into the earth. <laughs> okay, you you bludgeon him. Yeah. Again, you just kind of bring, are you just like braining him or? Um, groin. <laughs> shovel to the groin. Stepping oh. on it. Full, I'm going to like flip him over and like. You're a monster. Ugh. Gain an insanity point. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Just because yeah. why not to another man? That's just wrong. <laughs> they are just human guards. <laughs> they Still are defending. People? They They're are harboring. Paid, man. They are harboring chaos. Okay. So yeah, you bring your shovel in. Corruption up to his point. Groin level. Uh, yeah, why not? <laughs> and just he, the screaming stops, and just blood starts pooling around his groin. Good answer. Spade to the groin is a spade to the groin. Man's got a point. <laughs> Broad lad, he was dead for that. Good answer. Right. Okie dokie. I am going to insult this San Savino motherfucker so severely that he doesn't know what hits him. I'm going to diss him like an East Coast rapper talking to a West Coast rapper. I'm going to slag him off like my album has got so you real... insult him. What? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to insult <laughs> okay. him. Uh, now that you and Sigbert are there, you can see he's just... He almost looks straight past Trout. He's looking at the two of you with more hatred on someone's face than you have ever seen in your life. And you've seen Bagrick looking at bad things. At elves. Well... Uh, in that case, he can be stunned. Whoa. Are you using blather? I am using blather. Oh, man. To That's some serious so shit. So harsh. He's never been insulted like this in his life. It's that bit in The Princess Bride. Oh, yeah, When yeah. the prince says, I don't think anyone's ever spoken to me like that. Well, you'd better get used to it. Okay. Although, I was thinking, was he, well, go um, away or I will taunt you a second this would, time. This would work on... Your average person. This guy has heard a lot of this oh. kind of thing before. That's plus five successes with argumentative and etiquette noble and blather. What is bla blather's quite specific though, isn't it? He is, he's blather all means sheet. success oh, or charm. This guy, however, oh, six successes. He's heard it before. This is a crime oh, we're talking oh. to. Benito Santavino, Lubin's gra uh, son. Is it son it or is it's... Lubin's son? Yeah, yeah. Wow, oh. if he can take that level of insight, I did then my homework. He's going to need some stabbing. Okay. Uh, Trout. I'm going to slam him in the head with my uh, bishop. Okay. I'm going to hit him with the fish. In between you and him are the two guards. Okay. Um, 
Okay, well, they're, they're going to have to have it first, then, aren't they? Okay, so you charge one of the guards. Yeah. Okay, make me a... Uh, attack Reroll for Roger? Uh, thank you Leon. very much. Cheers, Leon. What are you uh, doing? <laughs> that's my... Now I've got three. You've got three, yeah. Um, you, that's three. the fourth he's had this time. So God, you get... Remember you get oh! A critical success. Nice. Okay, Boom. Let's see how... The trout man is back. Look at him. He's clubbing him left, right and centre with his bishop. Let's see how the guy does. See how bad a hit is. Bash them with your bishop. One moment. <laughs> Ein moment. Okay, so although he does relatively well to defend, please re roll me a d100, Jim. Go on, roll high, matey. Roll high. Just put roll 100. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 55. Uh, that's flout. a bit boring. I'm going to use one of my GM rerolls to make you reroll that. Oh, okay. look at that! He's got so many, he's flouting them now. I can. Eighty-seven. Oh, he's still now, got two rerolls left. Now we're talking in the body. Where, where did you hit him in the body? body. Okay. <laughs> like boldened by your feeling of you know righteousness that you've never really felt before. I mean, the gods are there, but and the know, lack of incontinence. What have they? What have they <laughs> ever done for you? Fish. However, now you're feeling it. You're feeling that Sigmar is looking down on you and smiling. And you didn't. You rush him. He brings up his buckler to parry and looks like he really knows what he's doing. But you move with such speed. You're the bishop, your studded mace that you use for clubbing fish, slams into his midriff and deals a crippling wound. You knock him to the floor. And he is just... He drops his weapons and is just holding his stomach. And it looks like he's not going to be getting up again. He is just in agony. Mm. He would be screaming, but you have knocked the air out of his lungs with that hit. <laughs> again, Gunter, you're like... I like this guy. We're keeping this one. This one can stay. <laughs> He's advanced to PC status. <laughs> right. Simon is now. still an NPC. <laughs> the well-dressed Tillian, with a look of utter hatred, just stares at Gunter and Sigbert. Come on in. My name well, is Benito Sansavino. You killed my father. <laughs> Prepare to die. <laughs> And he is carrying a cruel looking sword. It's twisted and black with green veins running through it. Oh, we're destroying that. Uh oh. Excellent. What could possibly go wrong? And uh, where am I looking? Feeling here? slightly robbed here because now you have to fight him. <laughs> Sling him in the butt. Got it. <laughs> that was my next move. <laughs> Sling stone up the arse off. <laughs> oh, success. <gasps> he chants words that oh. make, make your ears hurt. Did that motherfucker just magic missile us? <laughs> Kev, Blast, your, not just your yeah. ears are burning. You feel rage at hearing this speech. You don't know why, you can't understand it, but you feel pure rage. The hammer is just oozing it in your hand. Right, so... Oozy um, rage. I like what that does. So, all of you uh, take... And... <laughs> Glad I'm outside. Is there nothing Eight, we can do to avoid being No, you just 11 get, you just wounds get to all three of you. But it counts as hitting, hitting your, counts as hitting counts your body. Counts as hitting your body. Is that to me as well, Roger? Yep, all three, all three of you. Well, there goes as one this... of my fate points then. I hope he doesn't have another one of those. Can you minus toughness and armour? Uh, you do uh, minus toughness and armour. Oh. Yes, oh, you do minus okay. toughness and armour. That, yeah. that doesn't so, kill me then. Is that it's in the body? Kind of... Yeah. Yes. So it's kind of purpley, blackish ball flies out of his hand and it just, it's almost got smoke coming off it. Not a clean smoke, almost like a dirty, oily smoke. 
and it impacts into Sigbert's chest and explodes, sending this same kind of blacky, purple, oily smoke everywhere around you. And you just hear screaming in your heads. Hey, Do uh, I get to resist two chaos points of damage that? from that? Uh, it's not. It's not corrupting. So no. Okay. Ouch. Uh, the remaining I am horribly injured. The remaining oh. guard tries to rush Trout after just going Ugh! after seeing him just down his comrade this, in one this blow. Could be the hand of Wisdom could save be the throw before you can attack him. Uh, uh, oh no, sorry. Average. Trout, actually you don't take it. I forgot you rushed forwards. So my apologies. Yeah. It, good part. I've, I've got I've to shoot, guys. I've got to be up at half four, so... Oh. Okay, yeah. in which case you were on <laughs> the blast. Yeah. Um, you were consumed he, in fire. He was, he was yes. out by the blast. And Trout, yeah, Trout it, it falls knocks, out of a window it, and we don't knocks, know what happens It to knocks him. you clean out. Well, that, that nearly killed me anyway. Uh, that, Trout's that lying still and not moving. So the, <laughs> he, in fact, rushes Sigbert. Hi, Jim. Jim, thank you, you so Jim. much Thanks for joining us. I know we've run a bit later awesome. than normal. Thank you very much. No, Trout was no, such a fantastic you. character, mate. So good, <laughs> yeah. so good. Oh, we'll have to bring him back for another one. To leave on. He'll see, be see over here. See you tomorrow here. for the quiz. Yeah, yeah, see you for the yes. quiz. See you tomorrow. Hey, Jim. Thank you. Bye, Jim. Bye. So, Kev, make me a weapon skill roll, please. Uh, uh, melee basic, so just roll yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm just pressing on my... Your wonderful hammer. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. On the nose. I'm just trying to get up the right sheet. I might use one of my chat rerolls on that, actually. Hang on. Well, let's see if you need it first. Okay. Oh. It's a plus one success. Yeah, I'll use my chat reroll. See how we do. I was given two. Oh, come on. Okay. Right, we'll let us let stand at that. So... Thing. He lands the blow on, where did he hit you? In your right leg. So he hits you for eight damage in your right leg. As, he, as you go to block it, the guy moves alarmingly quickly and his, and his thin sword, much thinner than you would expect a sword to be, just whips out of your leg. For I, I, I always take one point of damage, even if I'm... Yeah. You always take yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I got a hit nine, you always take nine resist. Damage. <laughs> like four toughness bonus and five armor. So. Jeez. Okay. Sick butt. Yeah. Can it's I? Can you. I? Can I? Like, not take an action to disengage from this guy. And is there like a tax opportunity? Can I? Can I be like, fuck off? I'm gonna go after this guy. You. You can take an action to step away, but you can't then attack someone else. If you want I, to attack someone else, you can just take. You can. I just have two advantage. So can't I consume the advantage uh, to do it for free anyway? Yeah, I think that you does can. just allow you to disengage. It doesn't let you have an action afterwards. Yeah, but does it? It allows you to do it for free, doesn't it? it? Does it's a free action when you do that, isn't it? It doesn't consume the because otherwise, what's the point in uh, using your advantage? Sorry, to do why it? not? Okay, you burn your you burn all your advantage, and you're not going to get one for charging. Because I yeah, I had two right. Uh, I'm going to go straight for Benito and hit him with my flaming warhammer while it's still flaming. If only Egger was still <laughs> in the chat, he'd better tell us. Egger hit him while it's tell us. So we're just going to wing it. Um, okay, so I need to get rid of my advantage before I roll this, otherwise it's going to fuck with it. Submit, submit, submit. Oh! You can turn okay. off those extra... Buttons. Second chat reroll. Yeah, we do. Ooh, I still have. I'm, I'm going to use my reroll as well. Oh. Oof, only only one success. Uh, he gets four. So yeah. with a speed that you wouldn't have expected from him, he bring, he brings up this his this cruel, evil-looking weapon, and it and your hammer impacts it. And there's almost like a discharge of energy as the weapons are knocked away from each other. As if they're almost cool. opposites. <laughs> but 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 Siegbert's is red and the bad guys is green. What's going on? <laughs> uh, disengaging. There are two ways you can do it. If you have more advantage than your opponent, you can just step away and drop your advantage to zero and then do more attacks. Um, okay. If you have so less, we did it. So we did it. Right. Yeah, yeah. That's if fine. you have less, you have to use dodge to get out of the way. 
Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, rules. Uh, as an, uh, an opposed Dodge's Melee Right, Albrecht. Oh, you're going to be putting on armor. I'm, I'm and looting, stuff. and I'm also going to get the buckler as well, just for giggles. Is this so the guy that I've just murdered that you're robbing? Uh, no, <laughs> he, yeah, he's robbing the one that he shot, and yeah, then I've just run over and then... his head off. You're on. Oh, a okay, okay. So it's your go. Don't worry, somewhere. there's a guy there for both of you to rob. Oh no, no, I've got a. Bu- I've, I'm not wasting time. I want to get inside and join in. Uh, I picked up a buckler, so I'm going to run in through the front door. Okay, it's pretty obvious what's going on now. You you don't need a perception test. There are there are a lot of noises coming from downstairs. I'm gonna find the first. Set. It's just to your side, so you start okay. running down the stairs. Yep. And you you can get to the bottom because it's pretty close to the front door. Mm-hmm. Uh, then it is Gunter. You hear the noise of someone running behind you. Great. But that's behind me right now. Benito is in front of me and he needs a sling stone bounced off of the back wall and into the back of his head. There is also a guard pretty much right in front of you. Bollocks. Not quite in melee range, but if you kind of step forward, you would hear enough. (laughs) There's a Sansovino. I'm sorry, but there's a Sansovino and being Mm, rational. Sansovino. (laughs) Rational doesn't happen when. The finger cutting bastards are in play. <gasps> but that's the back of his head, not his right arm. Oh, okay. So he can't actually do anything about that. Uh, so how much damage do you do? Nine. Nine. Okie dokie. Has he got a lid on? A lid? Helmet. Uh, no. <laughs> he has a very flamboyant hat. Good for him. Did it Fucking knock it nine off while it was damaged in the back <laughs> of the head, you fucker? And that's that's in the sling, bounced off of a wall onto the wall behind him, and then smack right in the back of the head. I okay. Like where the skull meets the fucking neck. This is a really nasty place. He to hit. reels from that, and just he swears in a language you don't understand. You assume it's Tilian. It kind of sounds like it. You don't have to speak to language. I don't speak Tilly and I speak Moot, Classical and Reichspiel. Okay, you don't understand it, but it it doesn't sound like it sounds I might learn Tilly now just so I can insult them in their own language. Ah, Moot and Classical, the polar opposites of the literature world. Trout is unfortunately (laughs) on the floor. Next up. Right, Benito is going to take a swing at Sigbert. Oh man, I want to However, run in and finish Gunter it. Gunter has just fade. actually quite helped you quite a lot there. He's just robbed him of his advantage by dealing oh, damage. Ah. And you gained advantage, Gunter, remember that? Oh yeah, good point. I like it, please, forever. Take the hat as a souvenir. Oh, hey. <laughs> okay. Sigbert, roll me a D100, please. Oh, yes. Kev, okay, you got a re-roll as well. I don't Thank think you. he's going to want that right now. <laughs> that, is, that is nice. Maybe on the critical roll. Ooh. On the 68. Uh, you can re-roll that if you'd like to. It's up to you. 68 is not bad. It's pretty you good. get higher than that, but will you? Really? Is this, is this your, one of your re-rolls, Raj? No, you can. I'm saying if you want to, you can spend one of your re-rolls to re-roll. Oh, no, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. So I've got other he, things to use that for. As he goes for a swing, you you're kind of feeling Sigmar flowing through you now. You step to the side and you slam your hammer in. Rather than the flat of the hammer, you hit him with the top of it, where there's quite a nasty looking spike. And you jab into his leg, causing blood to fountain out of it. And as it happens, Simon <laughs> just runs straight into the course of where the blood was flowing, having just... <laughs> <a little change. laughs> What's going on? The place is going to burn down in a minute. <laughs> Step to the side. Um, he now has a real looking slow. wound on that leg with blood pouring out of it. Nice. And don't you have some kind of thing on your hammer at the moment? It's when I strike him. Does that count? Yeah. Uh, we'll say yes. Roll a 44. So surely you get a double critical, don't you? 
uh, well, it's a critical, so it's it does that plus whatever you've cast on your hammer, which I don't know. The critical should do base damp do extra damage. So what what damage, is the thing it? on your? Yes, it did. It did. Uh, so it's plus fellowship bonus damage. Plus fellowship plus success level bonus okay, damage. Well, it, what other success level is only do? one? So we'll ignore the extra yeah, damage. Uh, it does. It does prone uh, and ablaze. Does he get a test to avoid prone, or does he just drop? No. If he gets hit by it, he's prone okay. and ablaze. So you smack yeah. him with the spike in the leg. And he he ignites. Opponent trying to strike him in melee combat game plus twenty to him and drops to the floor. So he's he's still going, but he's on fire and on the floor. <laughs> Best way for a Sansavino to be. I think we'll all agree. Sansavino. Uh, Alberic. I assume I finished looting. Uh, putting on chainmail. Yes, you're just kind of slinging it on and going. Oof, that feels good. Yeah, yeah. I quite like that. And I'm going to run now towards the thing and pick up the other guy's bucklers as I go past. I've got sword and buckler. I'm feeling pretty good about myself now. Okay. I'm going to head so, in the same direction I saw Simon going. So you're basically in the doorway <laughs> of the building. Uh, Simon. So in the room, you can see... So he's prone on the floor. You've not seen this before. <laughs> you see Sigbert towering over this guy, holding a flaming so warhammer good. with a glow around him. Trout is on the floor in front of you. Gunter is just beside you, and there is a there is a guard in between you and Benito. I know I'm pinging around like a motherfucker, dancing around like Yoda fighting the Emperor. This guard must be covered in blood if he's standing between me and the Sansovino guy. It kind of I went over him. Oh, okay. I literally <laughs> oh, just okay. shot yeah. right over That's his Funny head that, isn't just... it? Funny that. It's weird. Can I um precedent? Um hmm. <laughs> Using the blood on the floor, can I power slide through the guy's legs and then uh, attack the guy with the battle shovel? Attack the guard? Yes, you can certainly. No, attack the guard. attack the sense of heat. Can I get to the sense of no. guy? Okay, fine. Uh, in which case, I'm going to say um, your boss is going down. Maybe you should get out of here, and I'll 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 attack him. I'm going to die, I've just realised, because okay, I've got so like five hit points. You gain advantage for charging. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'm on one. And uh, make an attack roll. Here we go. Oh. I believe just... in Simon. Let's, let's bring bring the shovel. Uh, no bonus, yeah? Just standard. Standard. 20. Did I have a re roll? I, I did get a re roll because Egil yeah. gave everyone gave a re roll before he went to bed. He did. Egil, I love you. <laughs> and he'll see that because he's going to watch the second uh, oh, fourth yes. quarter. Oh, okay. So, uh, one success <sighs> level. <laughs> In the head. That'll do. In the head. Battle shovel to the face. I, I'm gonna do it like so. The blade is going like that into it, like ah. Oh. Oh, That's what I'm going for. Mouth. That's oh, what I'm going for. Style. It's not. It's not a critical. Okay. Yeah, it's not a critical. But I'm doing that. Like, so how much damage do you do? You've got six success levels. Um. Oh no, sorry. Uh, you only got. I've got one. one. You got yeah, three got success one. levels. Three success levels. So I got ten damage. Giving him a bogan half and smile. To the face. <laughs> 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 A Grizzenwald grin. Okay, <laughs> you ram the you ram the shovel into his face, which isn't a move the guys ever expected. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, he wasn't expecting when you wear a guy a with a shirt, shovel. You don't expect someone to hit you in the mouth with a shovel. He's clearly used to you know people taking elegant swings at him with a sword, not jamming a shovel in his face, and he kind of staggers back slightly, kind of with a look of surprise on his face. I'm just going. <laughs> He's going to look surprised for the rest of his life now. now. To be fair, uh, even if he lives, he's going to look surprised. Fabius Bar, good his night. Thank you for watching. Goes up to here. <laughs> non anomaly said, "That's dentistry in the empire for you." Want <laughs> <laughs> to hear how I got these scars? I'm going to add trade dentistry to my uh, <laughs> character. It's you, Gunter. It's me, Gunter. Did you say Sansovino is um, prone? 
He's on the floor and on fire with a plate armored warrior priest standing over him with a flaming hammer. Can I chop his hand off? You want to try and. I want to try and. Is he on fire all over? Like if I sit on his arm, <laughs> um, is he going to set he's me on fire? He's a bit on fire. His, le- his leg's currently on fire. Okay, so if I sit hip. on his arm, I want to pin the arm that's got the sword. He can still try and defend himself. Okay, but I want to try and pin the arm that's got the sword. Okay, so that is a weapon skill test initially, please. Which will be fucking hilarious or because I'm melee. gets a plus 20. Hold on, you, are you trying to grab him or are you trying to use your sword to do it? I'm trying to grab him. I don't have a sword. Okay, so yet. brawling. So melee brawling. Uh, 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 At plus 20. At plus 20. Because he's prone. So is that weapon skill? Is there a yes. brawling skill? Uh, yes, yes if, there you is. Have it. if you don't have it, it will just be flat weapon skill. What's it called? Melee it's called brawling. Melee brawling. Should and be under. You'll have should it. be under basic. I've uh, got it's it. It's not melee basic. It's there's melee brawling, melee basic. Melee yeah, no, it's just under basic. If you have if you it, have it's it. a sub skill under melee. I don't have it under then, melee. Then just roll then your weapon so skill. Weapon skill. But you get plus twenty. I'm re-rolling. Oops, from one. Oof. Oh, either way, you rolled a nine. I'm re-rolling again. <laughs> <laughs> do it, do it. Uh, he's got yes! six. He's got six success levels. Yeah, you go, to, levels. you go to jump on his hand, and he just kind of moves it away from you. He's very good at this. That's the problem. But remember, because he's a blaze, at the end of every round, he suffers one d ten wounds. He will do minus his toughness and armor. Yeah, 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 yeah. With a minimum of one. Okay. Cut his hand uh, off while he's still alive. Sprout is still on the floor, so it's now him. Uh, he stands up and goes for. <laughs> he's flipping you the bird as he does it. <laughs> right. So he gets up, he pulls out a small looking figure <gasps> and jabs it in the leg. Sigba, you fall over. Oh, your le- you can't feel your leg. It's as if it wasn't there at all. It feels like it's just been chopped clean off. Whoa. Oh, goodness. Whoa. Do I not get to pass an endurance test? He, yeah, must pass he's got to be careful with casting spells because oh. he's got to build up enough success. Yes, yeah, sorry, a minus, a minus 20 endurance test. To cast that spell, he needs 10 anyway. successes. He does, and he also has... Oh, how many did he get there? Oh, no, no it's yeah, just, just zero. Passed. So he needs to channel before he can cast that spell. Oh, okay, my bad. Uh, That's he all will right. do something slightly different because I don't know what I'm doing with magic. That's all right. Funnily enough, as a, someone he can channel, but it. if he's using Warpstone, every oh, time yeah, he no, channels, he'll double his gonna, success levels. He's not going to try that. It... Okay. He's going to try this. <gasps> he has got enough for that, yep. He got six successes, so he Ooh, got okay. over the four, so that passed. So he does 16 damage to your chest, Sigma. <laughs> Oh, shit. Fucking hell. Good thing it's to my chest, because I've got, you know, nine. So again, he kind of utters words that just inspire hatred in you. He's definitely again, they, they hurt your Looking ears rough. as well. Simon and Gunter, they hurt your ears. You, it feels wrong. Sigba, you are, your hammer is... It, if you didn't know better, you'd think it was screaming at you. Ah. Oh. Okay. Uh, the guard is going to. That, that breastplate's got a big mark on it now, hasn't it? <laughs> Certainly got an impressive <laughs> scorch mark on it. Um, Wouldn't the be guard the is going to attack <laughs> you, Simon. Oh no! Oh shit! <laughs> but, remember, but remember, you've now got two advanced two levels of advantage because you charge him and hit him. And. And I have a buckler, which gives me one point of armor all over. Uh, it's defensive, so I get a plus. 
Okay, which means I will get to uh, do a critical on him in a moment. Uh, uh, me... No, it's the oops table. Oh, yeah, sorry. Unless, if I rolled unless you critically if pass. If I critically pass. See, Hang I on. could re-roll that, but I'm not Hang going on. to because it's funny. Here we go. Melee basic. Right. Um, uh, charging. And I get one success level bonus because of my shield. Boom. Uh, I'm going to make you re-roll that. Ah. I'm, I want to see if you get a crit. Of some flavor. Oh, okay, cool. I thought you were doing it to like. No, just because I can. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to absolutely fluff it up now and you're going to kill me. 100. <laughs> oh, not quite. Okay. All right. I just don't suppose anyone happens to have the oops table to hand. Mm. Is it called no. something other than the oops table? No, it is literally called the oops table. But maybe look up. Fumble. Isn't it? Fumble. Fumble, two, three, seven. 160. Boots table. Ah. Got it. Right, roll me a D100, please, Pete. I can do that. Uh, Unlike me, though. Murder. He but could do I anything for do giggles, that. but if he won't do that. 48. 48 on the oops table. Your manoeuvre was misjudged, leaving you out of position or you lose grip on a ranged weapon. Next round, your action suffers a penalty of minus 10. So he drops his sword as up. <laughs> okay. So, so again, he goes to swing at you, but your just random like movements just confuse him. And his sword impacts onto your shovel and bounces out of his hand. Nobody expects the combat shovel. And Nobody I've got three advantage. It's and the, you've now got it, sorry, the sorry. advantage. It's the battle shovel. <laughs> the battle shovel. <laughs> right. Sigma. It's not a war hammer. It's a battle it's, shovel. It's you. Remember, you've lost your advantage now. Liz. I think I still have... No. The, I think this is the last round of my hammer. I think. Uh, I think so. Let's go. Six it's, rounds, it's, isn't it? It's not four, because it's a miracle. It's a fellowship uh, bonus round. Either way, we'll assume it's this is the last one. It's, it's miracle, fellowship, ladies fellowship ladies. bonus... Oh no, it's only plus. Okay, yeah, cool. Um, so I'm going to swing my holy warhammer. Can I burn a resilience to call the number? Is that still a thing? Was it resilience? You want to burn a resilience? Remember, you can roll first and then decide to burn one afterwards. If you yeah, want. but that does allow me to call like call a number. Afterwards. It does, but you can roll before you. Decide I will roll to burn first, it. just in case. So you you're going to attack him with your combat shot and uh, <laughs> combat hammer. With my yeah, Damn blazing it, Simon and your armor. combat shovel. I mean, it's not a crit. Oh no, that's well, that's, that's a gun, But either way, that's a critical fail for him. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I'm not. Do, do you want to? Don't think resilient? I need resilience. Are you sure? Um, Can't tempt you. Yeah, and no, I'm good because that's a twelve when I hit with the offhand. So I'm I'm happy with hey, that. Oh yeah, do that. Um. So he, he gets knocked prone, set ablaze. Can you roll me a d100, please? Did he take I, damage at the end of the round? Uh, he's about to, but is I'm not sure it's going to be a problematic. Again? It is the oops table again. Same result. Oops table, please, Mr. Ben. Same one. Oh, okay. Maneuver misjudged. Let's do 74 instead. It's funnier. I don't know. So you smash. Where did you hit him? Uh, left arm. So you smash him in the arm, and the shock of it actually reverberates through his body, sending that spinning out of his hand. And how much damage do you actually do? Because you so get six success levels on this. Eight plus six, 14 plus, uh, I think it's my fellowship, fellowship. Bonus, so another, plus, plus another four. I didn't get, I only got one success level. So plus five, I guess. So uh, you got that? five success. Oh, you got four success get... levels. You got no, 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 five, sorry. Six. I'm talking about the success level of, of the uh, Sigmar's Bernie Hammer. I got okay, one success so level on that. How much damage did you do? So, sorry, what was that? Uh, 14, 16. 19. 19. Oh, you get the blimey, 19. Is he a creature of chaos as well? Because he's wielding uh, chaos He magic? is indeed a creature of so chaos. So it'll be 20. 20 damage. Uh, Kev, oh. please roll me a D100 plus 80. Plus 80. Can I just put plus 80 at the end of that? Yes. And I'm typing it. I think so. 
Rule 70. Okay. <laughs> Basically, you, you scream, <laughs> Sigma! As you swing the hammer violently into his left-hand side, your hammer crunches into his <laughs> arm. Can, can I, Raj, Raj, sorry, before you, can I look at the Warhammer as I'm about to swing it and just go, Kazook? Hey! <laughs> yes! Oh, because it's Bagric's hammer. <laughs> so, couldn't say, you hear this, and so do you, Simon, but you, you're like, what? What the hell does that even mean? As this Kazoo. I, I don't scream it, I just say it to the hammer. Okay. Impacts <laughs> into his arm. Shockwaves go through, and you hear the sickening sound of bones shattering in his body and his body erupts his internal organs come out on fire and spray Simon with all of the heart, lungs, get in a blazer liver, condition just slaps you on the face the fire luckily on the other side as it kind of flops off and just the look of shock on Benito's eyes as this hammer just just obliterates him and what's remaining of his body just erupts into holy flame and Sigma you feel the light of Sigma glow through you in fact everyone in the room gains a blinded condition from Sigma's light just beaming on you thanks dude and you almost hear the kind of in your head as you know <laughs> you have done Sigmar's work. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, do the sign of Sigmar uh, like across the She's basically crossing herself, but I'm gonna do it with the hammer. And I turn to look at the guard, see if he's uh, still willing to fight. <laughs> I'm about to stick him with my. <laughs> uh, it's Albrecht. I'll just come run around the corner. Oh, oh God, he's going to come around the corner. In the room. Step this into game. the room and it just light hits you in the face. Gain a blinding condition, a blinded condition. <laughs> okay. So you're minus 10 for anything visual based. I, I thought I was coming in after that, but sure. I'm blinded. Uh, he's glowing. He is literally glowing like. A... Would I have seen that as I was coming down the stairs, though? I think a car's headlights on full beams. <laughs> He has oh, got I'll a radiator. I'll put the little buckler up in front of my face. You can, but you won't be able to do anything. That's fine. I'll, I'll right, So you enter the anyway. room and you shield it. You you just kind of see it kind of just on the peripherals as you enter the room. He is glowing. Definitely a priest and there of is Sigma, a that burning guy. body. I knew from day one he was definitely a priest of Sigma. <laughs> right. Simon. This is day one. Uh, I may be blinded because that will give me a... I assume that gives me a bit of a penalty to hit. But I'm still going to send. But he's also on minus ten. So I'm going to ignore that. I'm going to stick this dude in front of me because I have got five adv advantage. <laughs> I, I just want to like uh, it's four. We'll cap. We'll continue the flint and steel cap. Up oh, okay. Three. Sorry. Of course. Um, I got carried yeah. away. So just ignore the minus ten because he's got that as well, and that's more effort than it's worth. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, changes the number of success levels you can achieve, Roger, in your role. But anyway. <laughs> Um, sounds like go. rules. Okay, you come <laughs> here and throw your rules sounds, at me. sounds like rules, dude. That's how I feel about gaming. That yeah. sounds like rules to me. Can so, we just do more talky story? So roll your attack. Oh, come on. What's going on? Uh, you can roll have one that. of my re-rolls because that was cool. Uh, no, hang on. Hang on. That didn't add my advantage on. Advantage or not, you weren't going to win that. Uh, he might do. What What were you rolling against? So your melee basic plus four. Oh, I went to my... Sorry, I didn't do it on my combat panel. I did it on my skills panel. Sorry. I need to do battle shovel. Uh, I, I'll use that reroll you kindly offered me. Um, uh, and, I'll, uh, and I'll do... I am do a benevolent that. overlord. Do that. Bosh! In the okay. face again. I'm, I'm going for that shovel in the mouth um, okay. attack. So, so I, how much damage does three that success do? Success levels. So I get ten points of damage to the. Oh no, it's in his leg. Sorry, I'm going for the. I'm I'm flailing wildly. <laughs> you okay. Blind, you can't see. Can, no, you kind of can't really see, but you swing your battle shovel, 
oh, in, yeah. and it impacts him on the side of the knee. And again, you just hear a sickening crunch as Stay his down. leg bends at an angle that a leg should not bend. <laughs> And he just drops to the floor, screaming. He's getting damage in spades. He got <laughs> spade and neutered. So I'm reading oh, just from the chat. It, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think we can drop the combat rounds there. He's crippled. Benito Sansovino is on fire in front of you. The sword is just off to the side. Nobody touched that. I'm going to cut Benito's little fingers off. I was about to say, still on a finger. <laughs> uh, they're a bit crispy. I don't care. It's the bones I want, not the flesh. What I'm just going to help Trout doing? up and start carrying Trout upstairs. Yeah. Is he all right? Oh, Albert. I'm going to be like that. That's what I'm doing. These fuckers took my finger. I'm uh, having that. I meant more I'm like gonna, this I'm whole... I'm going to try a heel Why did the guy the explode? He gets dragged away. He exploded so because the holy power of Sigma flowed through... I'm not complaining. That was bro. really good setting something on fire, but that I'd never seen anything like that before. This is holy why we don't fear the taint of, of chaos. I'm going to kneel down in front of Siegbert. Finally. You're finally starting to understand... The man's a blessed priest. I know he is. I know he okay. is. But I, now I've seen his true power, and I'm gonna just going to kneel there and mutter a uh, prayer Albert, to Sigma. As you check on Trout, he's breathing. It's a bit erratic. That's for Trout, by the way. Oh, you're healing Trout. Okay. Yeah, I would. So you heal him okay. six. He's, you heal him he's, six. He doesn't regain consciousness, but his, <laughs> his breathing, breathing steadies. <laughs> yeah. The, cool. the taint will lift from him eventually. He just so, needs to recuperate. Mr. Priesty, sir, um, does this mean this whole place is tainted and the whole... Um, Don't worry, you know, it's burning down in a minute. The barn's on fire and they haven't well, put it remember, out. Remember, we were meant to be stealing my, stuff. You can my brother is in here. As long as it's not green. Remember you tell me you haven't set the whole building on fire. It was remember the there's still a figure on the, tied to a chair with a bag on his head. Uh, well, we maybe take... It'll spread. I'm going to pull the bag off that guy's head. Yeah. His are, there head wooden, are there wooden supports for this cellar? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to start setting beams. them on fire. Not yet. Oh, so you were saying, sorry. Uh, he's already pouring the lamp oil. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> so I've slapped this guy around the face a little bit and try and wake him up. But when I say slap him around the face a little bit, I actually mean... Um, Use a crispy hand to smack him around the face. Poke <laughs> him with the crispy finger. Do, do a little bit. Oh, 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 you just killed him. <laughs> he's completely and utterly unresponsive is he my brother when you take the hood off yes you can see him clearly it is your brother. i'll cut the ropes on his wrist instead i don't know he won't wake up mate. i'm gonna try and mate. throw him over my shoulder um as you go to pick him up you see in the, on his shirt is just a it's just blood can i check and see is he dead he's dead Ah. I'm going to slowly walk out of the room backwards. Yeah, likewise. I'm slowly I stand there completely backwards. silent for, for I'm, a I'm, bit. I'm dragging Trout's body up the stairs. I'll help you. I'll help you. Yeah. Like, back out of the room. I stand there completely silent for a bit, just like standing with my arms on my sides, and then I'm going to... Um, can Yeah, can uh, Albrecht and Simon make me a cool test, please? Yeah, we're so cool, we're leaving. Sig, but I'm going to start saying whatever. I assume I'll know some sort of last rites type. Um, it's generally the realm of more, but you know yeah. how to say like a respectful prayer. Yeah. I marginally failed my call check. You go quite quickly up the stairs. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. And some... drag a trap by the heels. Just doing it. Just... Sorry, sorry. Oh, <laughs> the two of you, the two of you run. You just bolt up the stairs. You don't back away. You run with Trout okay. still over your shoulder, yep. because you kind of look across and you just you saw Sigbert's face when he saw his brother was dead, and you didn't want to be anywhere near that man when he was angry. You saw that. Well, Simon, you saw that guy explode. Yeah, I'm gonna go nick some shit from the house. Likewise, yeah, we'll you get can Trout run upstairs, upstairs and, and start we'll looting. Yep. Candlesticks, uh, fine, chi you know, China, not fine China, 
silverware, you know, anything like that. Or the chainmail from the dude outside that, that Albrecht doesn't need. I'm going to get the chainmail. Yeah. As you're stood there, Gunter, Sigbert's praying, you see that the blade that Benito is carrying is covered in crimson. I'm going to take one of the cloaks off of one of the guys and wrap the sword without touching it. Uh, make me a plus 40 endurance test. <laughs> yep. Yeah, oh, and you could, you could have added your resistance to chaos, but yeah, you're fine. Well, I'm going to wrap that thing completely and I'm going to tie it so that nobody can accidentally open it or have it fall open, whatever it takes. Were any of these guys carrying rapiers? Yes. I'm having one of those. I mean, I know it's like a great sword. For oh, it's half. massive to you. It's huge. But it can be backstrapped. Two-handed rapier. Yep. Oh, I'm going to... You might uh... need a smith to cut it down to your size. And that's fine, but I'm having one for a start and I'm wrapping this chaos sword. Siegbert? Yep. Uh, as, as I finish my prayers, I'm going to look at my brother and kind of say, uh, he wasn't always the best man, but he was my brother. We need Anymore to take these... it back to your parents, don't we? Yeah. They have to know. And we need to find him if there's any more of these Sansevino fucks out in the world. We're two for two. We'll keep Eradicate going. Them. One at a time. We'll get them all. Every single one of them seems to be into this chaos heresy. It's a family. It's a family problem. We sort the whole lot. I'm going to try and I'm grab my brother and sling him over my shoulder to carry him up the stairs. And as you sling your brother, it fades to black. Cool. So you fought Benito Sansovino, the son of Lubin Sansovino, who, yeah. who were both present for his death in season two. Fucking I hope cousins you, next. I hope you all enjoyed watching that. I hope you enjoyed the return of Two Flints and Steel, as well as Sigbert and Gunter. If you haven't watched all of Flint and, the Flint and Steel, I strongly recommend it. It's a lot of fun. And yep. I hope you guys had fun playing it. And I hope I didn't screw up the rules. Oh, it's fantastic. The storytelling too badly. No, that was so much good. That was, that was really good. So please be nice. This is my first time ever running on the channel. Jane of has said, great job, Roger. There you go. We like and Jane of. I, 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 I know how nervous you were going in, but you did a solid it's, job. That was really good. Because although I know the world, it's flint and steel. <laughs> and flint and I, steel! I wanted it to feel <laughs> like flint and steel. Because <laughs> Wolfrook is obviously its own thing, but flint and steel is very niche and it has its <laughs> own feel. And I yeah. wanted to try and keep it in You that. did a good job. You did I a mean, really good job. That was cool. Simon did guest covered in blood a lot. And that is <laughs> a large part of the feel of flint and steel. I had a lot of fun trying as many ways as possible to get trade farmer in there. Uh, <laughs> also a success. But you didn't manage to get your shirt off. You do realise oh, that I... actual Simon will be using this as evidence for why he can use trade farmer in future. I sent him a screenshot, don't worry, <laughs> while we were playing. <laughs> of my, when I rolled a one on my first test. <laughs> Good no, that was fantastic, that was really Roger. Fun. Thanks so much. And thank you everyone for watching and joining us on our last uh, actual play of the year. Um, although we may have a cyberpunk up our sleeves. We'll have to figure that out for next week. But this it's is the like last... Wednesday the 30th at the minute. It, it yeah. looks like. It looks like. But this, is, this was the last scheduled actual play of 2020, which has been a really weird year. Uh, <laughs> very uh, ups and downs and got us onto the Twitch platform and, and we've now hit 401 followers, which is great. So thank you, everyone. Since April, I mean, that's pretty solid going. It's not bad for a non-official uh, channel. So, so you know, uh, I'm, I'm If only I'm there pleased. was something official that we could release to people. If, I... <laughs> if only there was. If only there so was. You should all tune in tomorrow night at nine o'clock where we will be having the great Garblag, great game show of whatever the hell Pete decides to call it. Nobody yes. can get it right. And Bub Bubble Reg has been helping me with the questions. And on that, there will be a very big, hopefully, announcement. Hopefully. 
about something Warhammer related coming to the channel very soon. <laughs> yeah. um, if you did enjoy this this show, though, make sure you go onto the YouTube video afterwards if you're not watching it already, yep. and drop a comment and a like. Absolutely, it's kind of how we know what you want to see more of. So if you do want more flint and steel, don't forget to do that. And if you want um, to see more flint and steel with Roger running it and us being the gang, then uh, then then let us know that as well. So I've just popped a link for our YouTube if you're watching it live on the stream. But also don't forget to join us on our Discord server. That's got a growing community of role players. There's lots of talk about mapping, nerding. I mean, there's been a lot of talk about the Mandalorian with all of the spoiler things on there. So you can't see it unless you click on it. Yep. It's even a maths channel. Also, <laughs> I know, it's shocking. <laughs> also, uh, do check out our Patreon. There's lots of very cool stuff on there lots of maps and things there's a lot of free stuff as well so you don't necessarily have to support us although if you do you are absolutely amazing and an utter hero i popped a link Thanks, in Kev. there as well if you're watching it on the youtube do check out in the comments below i'm sure yep. people put, uh, not comments description below i'm mm -hmm. sure people put that on there as well as don't forget to check out our red bubble if you're a fan of flint and steel it's where i got this fantastic mug and there's also going to be there's well. some stuff on drive through rpg already but yep. we're hoping to expand our catalog going yep. into next year with some more games and more stuff there may even be some bits and pieces going up on the free league community content area as well yes. so if you've enjoyed our alien shows or if that's the sort of thing that tickles well, your the, pickle then the, the alien stuff has to be giveaway because it's yes, not, it does, because it's you can't not, um, yeah, because it's IP. Um, however, I am looking at creating a um, a Year Zero engine sci-fi game, and I've I've had a cover commissioned for it, um, and and uh, that that's that's going to be a lot of fun. And Ben in January is running as he's holding there, Coriolis for a bunch of us which is going to be yeah and fun. as it turns out pete and dan are both going to be in that yep i'll be there with millie the gm and claire who was in our mage game and aldin who's been in vesson and mage and mutant and, and D and yes D and d ash and breeze yeah, yeah i yes. mean we've got tons of stuff coming up uh, yeah. we've also got an extensive back catalog so don't forget to check that out if you haven't seen all our shows because there are a lot of them and they're very good and i'm completely un impartial when i say that <laughs> cool cool no, cool, cool. we've got a lot coming winking. up in 2021 are we going to go to the green room or are we um, going to go to bed i'm not I th up to you I think I'm going to have to go to bed. It is 1 a.m. here in the UK. <laughs> so it is. But thank you I've very not got much back to everyone Woo. for watching it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And I sincerely yeah. hope you will have a very Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, happy everyone. Year from all of us here at Garblad Games. Ho, Good ho, ho. Everyone. Now I have a machine gun too. <laughs> cool. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Uh, Leave it you. Hello and welcome to Garblad Games. We're playing Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay 4th Edition and this is Laser Steel!